there's a pause. We should be live. We should be live. Wow. Yep. Just about to disable LTE on my phone in network mode. Okay. <laughs> How can you have that song stuck in your head, Jerry? <laughs> an ad an ad started. Well if an ad started, I guess that means I'll take my glasses off so I can look way cooler and younger. So if I go C D M A, Someone just came. First coming of the day. <clears throat> that was quick. Yeah. Coupled with a comment, I can smell you. It's a bit a bit disgusting. Hey guys. Hey. Evie Ba. Is that Bossa Nova? Evie Ba? I don't know. Coming buckets, man. We're coming buckets too. What kind of movie stream number? I don't know. Eight? Nine Eight. or something? Nine. Kind of stop counting. We'll wait. I think it's kind of like one by one people get dumped in here. Mine hasn't updated. That sucks. <clears throat> Holy shit! It's Jared Kale. How do you know that's shit? That's three asterisks. Holy ass. How do you know it's not like holy cunt? Jared Kale is actually an insult. Is that, is that bad to say Because that that's four letters. It might be. I don't know if our sponsors. <laughs> I, 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 I think that all, regardless of the length of the, of the band word. Um, yes. Oh, it shows up as three asterisks. I think so, yeah. Could someone yeah. do me a favor and spell like... <laughs> someone, for some reason, the C word is not... Uh... Oh, the C word's not even blanked at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you could just try various lengths of swear words just to clear... The, yeah, they all... It's always... Yeah. You know, it, it reminds me... <laughs> we used to play a lot of generals. Come to conquer generals, obviously. Oh, and that's remember, right. Remember that one word? They, they, they bleeped out all these words that were bad. And yeah, I couldn't believe they they actually censored cunnilingus. They did. <laughs> I typed, <laughs> one time I typed cunnilingus. And it was like asterisk, like and it was this, this huge long asterisk. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like come on guys, cunnilingus. Yeah. Cunnilingus, yeah. Like oh, I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna yeah. type cunnilingus um, at somebody. Fellatio like, was also banned. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Like oh man, your girlfriend was fellating me this morning. Fellates banned. I'm like you oh, gotta be kidding me, man. It's like. Oh man. But then you'd be like sucking my dac and it's like <laughs> right through there, man. I'm like, alright, well fine, your girlfriend was sucking my dac. Oh. That's right. But you know, it's like now people say D, right? The big D is like, you know, she wants the yeah, D. Yeah, she right? wants the D. You can't censor D. Can't censor the D. Man. You can't censor no. an So hey, we got it. Well, we got the, the US might try. They'll, oh, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll be like, well, we're, we're censoring capital D. Can no longer start sentences with D. Yeah. It's like, what's what's your like bra size? Like, yeah. like asterisks. Oh, yeah. I can't communicate yeah. you over this video game. Oh, Double asterisks. Asterisk. Damn. Oh, baby. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So. Um. Essing <laughs> my D. Essing my D. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mental note going into the stream, which I didn't share with you. But it was that <laughs> well, you don't have too much talk about yeah. dick. I was like, what? Well, sometimes in the stream we're going pretty far. I feel like we're talking about nudity, cocks, yeah, c words left and right, and I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, we're supposed to be professional and responsible and we're old guys, and maybe this stream we should be totally clean. How about we start now? And we open up a cut. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually. While we're before we clean the stream up, which we will clean up in a minute, um, gonna add someone to my see my cock list, man. Remember we talked last week. No way! Like, someone saw your yeah, cock in between now Germany, last in year. Germany. Yeah, in Germany. Someone saw. Oh. Can someone take a guess? Who of the League of Legends slash StarCraft two analysts, host, commentators saw my penis in Germany? I'm not even gonna. Guess. The Jeopardy music's been playing, man. You got five seconds. Who? Write it down. Saw on, a, on, right on white on blue, and then. Doo, 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 yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Whoever gets this right, whoever gets this right gets something. A prize. A prize. Mm -hmm. Guess who saw my penis? I'll let you read the answer, Jeff. Uh huh. I just read it. Okay, you read it. So someone saw my penis that worked at the Intel Extreme Masters of Germany last week. Now, maybe before you give the answer, you could uh -huh. you could explain the circumstances. Okay. Um, now, typically the circumstances are my fault, 
like, oh, I got naked and there was people in the room. And I was like, shit, I didn't put that together. Um, in this case, though... Someone stuck their eye in your pants. I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom yeah. and I was taking a pee. It's pretty reasonable to do in a bathroom. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't lock the door. Uh, I guess that's the Canadian in me. Uh, afterwards, because the person who did this blamed me for my Canadianism afterwards, as though it was my fault for not locking the door. Yeah. But what's funny is that as I'm going pee, he opens the door, he's like, oh, shit, dude, sorry. Didn't do the accent. Haha, -ha, don't want to give any hints. And, and then st stands there just staring at me. Like, he, he, did, he did a prologue. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm really sorry. You're going you're gonna to finish, finish up I'll, that pee there? Yeah, so I, <laughs> I cut the stream off. You cut the stream off. I cut the stream. I, I pulled the boxers back up and then I turned and we laughed. And then, <laughs> and so then, how did you resume? Well, I had to go pretty bad. And once I relaxed and stopped laughing, it, I finished up. But um, Someone guessed it there. He did. He did. The first guess right is Denfrey. Denfrey guessed it. Genfrey guessed it. Denfrey? Denfrey guessed it. Red Eye. Paul Schenler, the host. Add onto the list of people that contained Dave, it contained FPS Doug, mm -hmm. contained your mom. I'm kidding. Epic list. It was an epic list. Paul's now on the list, guys. I don't know what Denfrey gets, he gets something. Are there any. Uh, Maybe a t shirt or something. Are there any women on that list? <laughs> it's like all guys, like people who see my cop. Dave, Joel, uh, that's it. That's <laughs> bliss. Out of, out of courtesy, I'm going to leave the women on this because there's, there's been no accidental women yeah, this. I'm listing accidental Accidental cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ones who really desperately wanted to see it. <laughs> Their names will be forever secret, regardless of whether or not they worked at the Intel Extreme Masters. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Real talk for a second. Are you shooting the movie on red? Do you know yet? Also, do you still have an XHA1? Still have the XHA1. It's it's a piece of garbage uh, nowadays. Yeah, um, is, yeah. We're probably going to do like a handheld similar, whatever the prosumer is, just for maneuverability for most of the shots. But we will go red for some cinematic moments. Um, a good friend of ours has a red that he's willing to lend us, and it's great. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll probably just use whatever default lens on it, but we'll have some better lenses for the red and have the cinematic moments and make it look really cool. So that's our plan, cinematography-wise. I think ultimately the red, right? The concern was that it's, it's too bulky, it's meant more for cinema. We Maybe need something that's run and gun, so that yeah. Kyle can walk backwards and film me on the street without needing 50 people there, and something that's a little more portable. So we're looking for something like an XHA1, but 2013 and super, super pin. Yep. Actually, that's what Freddie Wong watches. I don't know if you guys are in our users, but you know the Freddie Wong channel? Like, you know, kind of one of the biggest YouTube channels in the world. Um, which if you've never seen, you really should check out. But yeah, same kind of thing. When I was there, he was using like a really awesome running gun camera that totally inspired me. I was like, that's... Mm -hmm. um, running gun, man. Get it done. Kyle's not too new to red. Actually, you shot on the red very recently, right? Yeah, I shot yeah. Space Janitor Season 2 on the red, yeah. and it's awesome. Yeah, it's he's great. not too new to red, man. Red's too new for us. Yeah, that's the problem, man. Um, um, so what game are we playing today? You know what, I'm just going to get this out of the way, okay? Yeah, um, I'm still waiting for my copy of Heart of the Swarm because I'm too cheap to buy it. Um, <laughs> and then I said I was getting one and versus you know waiting to get it and not. So I don't have Heart of the Swarm installed yet. But probably by next week it'll be Heart of the Swarm. But, but anyway. Um, Were you expecting Heart of the Swarm by any chance? I was. I mean, I'm talking to the audience. Oh, okay. I was. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard hurts my feelings sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Remember how we talked about... Uh, the new Sim City and how we were like, we were like, I was like, I love the demos. The demos look great. I want to play this game so bad. And then you were like, Oh yeah, EA. Oh yeah, yeah. Like DRM. Oh. Yeah. And then I was just like, I'm not gonna buy it. And then sure enough, people are buying it. They want refunds. You can't play it offline. Like, why can't you play? Like you're you're on an airplane it's or whatever. Sim you're, City. You you just happen to be not having an internet connection for whatever reason. Just play Sim City. Come on, like you should be able to. But it's like, honestly, the, the irony is like. Wouldn't a DRM-free offline version from Pirate Bay seem pretty attractive right now? Well, it seems you know? unbelievably attractive. Like, it's like it's like you know they're trying to curb piracy, but it's like is it there yet? Maybe I should. It's go like the clean version of the game now is the pirate version. That's how things work nowadays. At the Pirate Bay dot North Korea. <laughs> Let me go. Nah, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke, right? <laughs> I hope so. Um, but if not, I still support anything they do because I am a copyist. Officially, is my religion. 
You know, that's an official religion. So really? Yeah, I'm a copyist. Wow. It's not actually a, re- a sanctioned religion here, but I figure, hey, while you're pulling shit out of your ass, you, you, your religion I'm a copyist. Yeah. requires you to copy. Requires software. me to share information at all costs, hmm. um, or something like that. So, so <clears> I know about as much copies and as most people do about their own mm-hmm. religion. Um, I'm just gonna quickly look on Pirate Bay and see if SimCity's up here. Digital Deluxe. It's five. No crack. Pixel, right? It's just called Sim City now. Oh, right. Really? I think they ditched the five, right? So it's harder to find on the Pirate Bay. Well, it's, that's, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, that's actually. it. Yeah, the very top link there. <laughs> Sim City oh, wow. Deluxe Digital. Mm. No crack. No. Yeah. So does that work? Is it like. Not that I would ever download it, but I, does, does it work? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean. EA is not going to give us permission to use any of their games in that movie, by the way, probably, if we keep talking this way. That's true. So let's just, um, let's just change the topic. We're, we're going to play. What game are we going to play? Generals 2. That's right. No, I, we don't want to mislead people, get them excited. No, the... That, that uh, is a lie. We're not, we don't have Generals Not today, but I will be playing it. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. it's, um, Someone guessed it, right? League. Yeah, League. J- just because, okay, and before people be like, oh my god, you're playing League, oh my god. Um, we haven't actually even played games for three streams now, right? That's right. This is yeah, either... Yeah. It's either been two whole streams of zero games, or maybe even three. At least two whole streams of zero games. So no one can be like, oh, we only play League. Um, no League, League sucks, no, yay League. Oh. But the thing is, if, if the last streams are any indication, we ended up queuing in the whole stream and not playing at all. So who knows, maybe that happens too. Um, so when we're done talking to you guys and everyone's had a lot of fun, then um, maybe we'll, we'll play some. Also because I just, I, you know, I was away in Germany and, and Jeff hit 30. And Jeff is loving Sona. Sona. So uh-huh. Jeff's playing a support character. And this would actually be, if we were to play, the first time that we that played I support a, Jared, Yeah, you know? that we play together bottom lane as a two man team next to each other. And I'm actually like I'm personally pretty excited to see how that would go. because um, I haven't been able to play much at all. Uh, in fact that trip to Germany I never played a single game is like the longest time I haven't played a video game in like a long time. Wow. Not a single video game, not even on You were just there for 100% video game purposes, yes. watching video games. Watching video games, video games, talking about video games, but not... Like, wow, that's the longest I ever went without playing. Like, I know, dude. <laughs> I know, I'm glad you totally understand. Um, it was pretty tough. Uh, I had... An, oh, I forget. Um, what do you guys think of Freddy Video Game High School? We get asked this a lot, and... Mm-hmm. I don't want to get into big whatever, but it's extremely impressive what they did with the budget they had. And I think from our experience in TV and our experience making web stuff, um, I, I'm actually I'm amazed. I mean, I, I, look, I, I watch a lot of the videos that they put out weekly on like the Freddie W channel and, and Video Game High School is kind of falls in the category where it's like, it's fucking amazing that they really shoestring that stuff and it looks as good as many major Hollywood features that have multi-million dollar budgets. So, mm-hmm. um, a lot of talented people working on that project. and uh, It is pretty crazy. It, yeah. It's great, but you know, by one, like one, one critique, it's not a complaint or anything, it's just a critique, and it's something that I've, I've, uh, I'm conscious of in the stuff that I make. Um, uh, there's a, it, it gives it a weird feel if everybody in the movie is plus or minus five years in age. Yes. You know, so it's like... Yeah. It's like, just throw one old guy in there. Throw a 50-year-old guy in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. one 50-year-old. And it, yeah. it adds a whole different dimension to the movie of like, okay, it's... I don't know, for some reason, it, feel, it just feels like it's like, you know, hey, like, like it's in a universe where there's no one over 30, you know, except for like, yeah. you know, the, the, the epic mealtime guy. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's one of those things that adds a different feel to your show or your project in uh, you can have a diverse age range and have people that are playing characters be di- the appropriate age, um, but uh, but yeah, for you know, that's that's I guess one one thing that I'm conscious of and stuff they make. But I'm sure they don't care about that stuff. They're doing so well and this is a huge success and a, gr- a great project. So I'm sure they don't care about that kind of stuff. But it's one of those things I found interesting to watch. It was like a little bit different to watch in that regard. Interesting. It's something I never even. Consciously processed, but now that you mention it, it's like yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, in, in Space Janitors, this other project I directed was, um, you know, we purposely had like an like uh, an eighty-five-year-old guy play the emperor of the of the universe, you know, 
And that's like, okay, we have our age range right there. This is an 85-year-old guy uh, in our show. So, But yeah, it, it helps. It helps give it a, a universal feel, I guess. So. It is. <clears throat> um, Jared's still losing weight? I hope so, man. Oh, um, not after this lunch that we just had. Dude. Um, oh, yeah. Pulled pork I, sandwich. And, yeah. uh, and I, I, I gained five more in Germany. Really? I did. So uh, all the progress I've made has it was reverted and then made and then reverted and, and now I'm I'm only uh, I, f I think five pounds better than what I when I started in January, which is actually really depressing. Huh. Um, so now I'm in crash mode starting tomorrow. <laughs> crash diet mode? Is that yeah. Now, now I'm starting to get scared. Well, you um, know, um, the lunch yeah. we had today was not the healthiest. No, it was sweet potato fries and potato fries and pulled pork sandwich and mm. veggie burger and mm -hmm. this is I wanted to bring this up because I want to know if people think this is weird um, people think it's weird whenever I order a veggie burger with bacon yeah um, so they're like what? why would you do that it defeats the purpose like no the purpose of the veggie burger is to be the thing that you eat in your mouth that tastes like a veggie burger sometimes yeah. you just want a veggie burger sometimes you want that yeah. vegetable patty sometimes it's done really well with spices and mushroom and other vegetable matter and it's like wow that's a really great veggie burger you know what it needs bacon just to, just to complete it make it awesome burger mm -hmm. and uh you know people always the servers always looking at me weird it's like oh yeah veggie burger with bacon and you're like what it's like yeah you heard me right it's not that weird so uh anyway. that's true at ea i had that every single morning or lunch <clears throat> Veggie burger with bacon. I was like known for it. I come in and cook and be like, ah, oh, veggie bacon. All yeah. the cooks loved it because they appreciated it. That that's, it's not about a statement that you're a vegetarian. It's about, I want the flavor of a vegetable patty. Yeah. And I fucking love bacon too. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a. Oh my God, Jared has gray hair. Don't talk to me, man. Oh, I need some just for men or some oh, shit like that. It's so brutal. Just for my, noobs. Just for noobs. And I just devastated my finger in Germany too. Look at that. Yeah. Was it where you like doing Carmack. this all the time? Yeah, it's Carmack. What? This is for Carmack right there, buddy. How'd that happen? Jesus. Carmack, well, we, we were leaving this restaurant. Mm. And, and you it, was, were, it was very you were, cold. You were fully sober. I was, oh yeah, yeah, no, I really, really was. Oh, like, really? Yeah, no, I actually <laughs> totally was. We had a good restaurant. It was the night of this big X and G party. Yeah. But I'm too old, and he's too old, and we let the kids go out there fun, and we went and had a good meal. Mm -hmm. But, and I'm, I'm leaving, you know, if you get really comfortable in a restaurant, Maybe you don't, and it's warm in there, and then you go up to freezing Germany outside, and and it's it's the contrast of the temperatures, and your body starts like, oh god, it's so cold. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to the car, and I'm just like, this is just so cold, oh god. And I'm just like, just want to get to the car. I'm just like, let's just go, let's just go. And he's he thinks it's really funny that I'm Canadian and cold, like because apparently being Canadian means you should be immune to cold everywhere. <laughs> and uh, so as soon as we get in the car, he just rolls my window down. Like from his driver's side, like what? Oh, just, well, went down, and, and and I just in a panic, just reach over to pull to the lever that pulls the window up, and it ripped my nail like half off, just like ripped it off, and he, you know, brutal. He thought it was so funny. <laughs> anyway, it's too bad I don't know. He laughed so hard that it went into some hysterical high pitched thing, that. Jarsar has on tape, but will never be able to show anyone. Why? Because Carmack insisted, because this is like, you've never heard anyone laugh like this. Really? It's but, his but actual like it's gut It's his laugh. actual, like he can't control himself. It was so funny to him that I hurt myself so bad. So thanks, Mihao. <laughs> so I want to know if we still eat smoke wheat sandwiches. It would end both their careers. Oh God, what's, what's he talking about? Like, oh, that's, that's got me looking, man. Um, yeah, by the way, people, uh, the, the bad romance thing, if you're watching it, and I am, I, I made a stupid bet back in, in uh, Singapore, the full details of which, unnecessary, the short d details of which I'd hit some amount of Twitter followers before um, I am Germany. Um, and then Carmack twisted my words and did this and that and, and cornered me into this thing where I had to sing Lady Gaga's bad romance mm -hmm. on stage and on stream. Um, in front of everybody. I don't sing. I have no idea how to sing. To make matters worse, I had a cold and I couldn't even hear myself on stage. So oh, I had no wow. way to even hear what I sound like and to correct my pitch or anything. So I think it was pretty brutal from a technical standpoint. But um, it was really, really, really fun. 
I actually had a really fun time and, and everyone had a fun time watching it. And um, I went and checked out Reddit later and the threads were like really positive and mm -hmm. everyone appreciated that as a non-singer, it takes a lot of balls <laughs> to go out there and, and do that. Um, and here's why I'm coming up with, Jared, that number was not legit. You know, I, I read your tweet and I went and looked into it, um, but most of them did turn out. So if there was some, um, if, if someone was trying to, to F with the system, it was not a significant capacity. F with the system. <laughs> Are we clean? Are we're we in clean, clean mode now. Oh, yeah. I can't say. I can't yeah, say. if someone's going to F the system, it was actually pretty clean. Um, because when you F with the system, usually your, your followers drop off huge really, really quickly and you can yeah. see the eggs. But actually, it was um, not more than 9 out of 10 people were legitimate people. So that's fine, man. If someone wants to pay to make me sing, then fine. It's their money lost, man. Whatever. But uh, don't F with the D, man. Nope. There will not be bad romance in the movie because I don't even want to ask how much it would cost to license that song. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of money. 25000 maybe? At least. At least. 25000 35, maybe? Yeah. <clears throat> Too much for our budget. <clears throat> what league am I in? I'm not in any league in Heart of the Swarm yet. I don't have the retail version yet. I'm still waiting for it. Blizzard? Where's my... Where's my code? I don't know. Is there still waiting for my code? Or are you out there still? You haven't abandoned me? <laughs> I know that I play a bit of League, but come on, Blizzard. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you a League of Legends question, and I waited until the stream to ask it so that you can explain to everybody else. Cause yeah. I, but I, I really want to know the answer to this question. So we, I played a game of League of Legends, mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and off the bat, even before the uh, minions spawned, mm -hmm. All five of the opposing team went to bot lane and just <laughs> tried to gank everybody. Yes. To kill gank people. Yeah. Get gank people. All five were like very tank characters with tank builds. They were just like tank, tank, tank. And they would move as a group, all five, through the whole game, ganking people and then move to five and then maybe do a bit of farming and gank five together. They were very coordinated, but they were all like five men. And, and, and people I'm playing with were like, yeah, some guy was there. I'm sure I was playing with you, and and they were like, they were like, oh, we got trolls, we got trolled, trolled, or they were saying troll, and I was, I didn't know if they were like, if they were like, um, you know, troll is in like the internet troll where you make people angry at your own stupidity that is not real, um, <laughs> or troll is in like that's a particular build in League of Legends, or if you're if you're very defensive in your build, is that what a troll is in League of Legends? <clears throat> and then so th my first question is that what is a troll in League of Legends? The second question is. How do you defend against that? Why is the standard top, mid, two people in the bottom jungling better than that? Because, so a couple things. One, trolling in League is pretty much up to the definition of the person using it, but mm -hmm. really, it's typically feeding on purpose. You didn't get your pick in champion select, so you're a big douche the rest of the game. So it's like, you know, you're, you're like, oh, I'm gonna play um, Fiddlesticks ADC this game. It's like, yeah. oh, you're trolling. Like you, it's, okay. it's not an effective build. You know going in it's a shitty character to pick for that role, but you're doing it anyway because you're a troll. Yep. That kind of thing. But those guys, did they win? They won. See, they did win. So right there, they're not trolling. Man. It was an, well, and your elo effective strategy. But why it would not work in the pros is because farm is greater than everything. And when they're all five together moving together, they're sharing experience on kills. Mm -hmm. And they're losing lanes of farm. And if you were to split up, into your typical one 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 uh, one one and two you get jungle, the creep score and, get the and, and every time they come to your lane, you just just back off, just go defensive. But but they didn't give a fuck about towers, like just, after level three or four, five. Yeah, because they can just gank the tower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't give a fuck about towers. So you go back and then you keep going back and you're just going back. And In then the one crank pulls you. But, and, but if they're moving together, and then, oh now they're going to mid. Well, top goes back and starts farming. Every every mm -hmm. time that those guys aren't in a lane, creeps are killing creeps, towers are killing creeps, and all their money is just vanishing, vanishing, and all their experience. And if you split up and you just just focus, and, and I think the best strategy, because it happened to me once, and the best strategy is really like, just ignore them. Oh, they all five ganked you, oh well, spawn and go back and farm. Yeah. And if, when you hit the mid game mark, and you've tripled their creep score, yeah. and you have better items, then group up and kick the shit out of them, because in, unless they can end it, unless they get an inhibitor in the first 10 minutes, because usually yeah. they'll do that, and then they'll try to get an inhib. Then they've got super minions, then they'll push for a win. Of course. They, so if, if Short game. They're, they're, they're going all in, but if they don't win all in, and try to fall back to a laning phase, they're so behind on the creep score. Yeah. So it is money. Is a, I guess that's, that's the only answer possible. Yeah. It's it, all about the, money. The money. standard strategy gets you yeah. the money. Gets the most money. Yeah. They're missing so much money. Um, 
See, they have CC to wreck you, though. That's Not at the highest level. At our level, maybe. I've lost to that shit, too. Yeah. But, and you know they're all on Skype. Like, yeah. they're, they're also I'm very coordinated. We you're, you're in a solo game, but um, it is a cheese, man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, How does someone become an intern for you guys? Well, if you're pro at editing, you want to do some editing of some additional content, Send an email to noobschoolbus at pureorange.com and send us your editing reel and your editing experience. So, yeah. Attractive helps. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. For sure. It doesn't help at all. But include a photo anyway. Yeah. Can't hurt. Um, Joel's car. Let me click that photo. Am I about to see Goatsy? Okay. Mm. It's been Diesel. Get it? That's a pun. It's a diesel engine. It's mm -hmm. a pun. Mm -hmm. It is. <clears throat> okay. Um, audio production opportunities. I get a lot of requests for music. A lot of people bring that up too. Even at the live events, people come to me like, hey, I've got a band. Like, in Germany, it happened again. They're like, hey, mm -hmm. I've got a band. I want to make music for the show. Send us music. I always add it to my music library of indie music I might use in the movie. So mm -hmm. send me MP3 links. I always just give me your phone number. I'm like, just call Jeff. Just call my personal cell phone. Jeff handles everything audio related. <clears throat> um, GSP or Diaz? Come on. Is someone silly enough to bet against GSP? You're gonna be crazy. Oh, pff. Come on, it's gonna be a raffle stomp. Are you crazy? I like how he dominated a three letter Google search. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Google, Google search GSP, it's like everything for probably the, the, the first like 10 pages is George St. Pierre. Yeah. The martial artist. Oh, Diaz has accused GSP of doping. Maybe I'm naive, but there's nothing about GSP's personality to suggest that he would dope. Of course. He, yeah. he seems like such such a good guy. Yeah. I think it was, I think he talked once about how he was bullied as a kid and how he was a scrawny kid. And, and it really tugged my heartstrings. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I don't see it. Dude, GSP's not gonna get owned. Uh, if GSP loses, it's because, yeah, in MMA, sometimes one lucky punch, it takes one hit, you know? You can be the best fighter in the world, but one lucky hit and any human being can go down. Unless you're Anderson Silva, then there's no such thing as luck. But um, I, no one's outworking GSP, it's not happening. No one's out pound for pounding. No one's out anything him. If they're going to beat him, it's luck. Might be bias. <laughs> but really. Um, Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Um, just going through the questions. Hey, is Femme, Femme Fatale here somewhere? Yeah, I think so. You know what? I, I could get on Skype. That could be handy. <clears throat> I still have bad romance in my head. How? It's been know. over a week. Ugh. I'm actually starting to get... It's painful. It actually hurts a little bit. I wish I got into the song a week before. I had to bring the lyrics on stage because I don't know the song. Yeah. In fact, when I took the bet, I had no idea what song it was. But I knew who Lady Gaga was because of Poker Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had no idea the song... It's back. Yeah, it's back. <clears throat> now here's a question for XSplit. Does it automatically reconnect? Does Twitch automatically reconnect? Let's see if we're streaming here. Ah. So you gotta reload the uh, window, I guess, for the chat. Yeah. I will do this okay. actually. It's back. <clears throat> I don't know what happened there, some internet BS. I don't Sorry, know guys, if you're internet. listening to this, you're still here. 
Sorry guys, if you're listening to this, obs, you're still obs, here. Obs, obs, Sorry, guys, They're here, okay. Obs, 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 obs. Sorry guys, Alan tried okay. to talk at the house. Had nothing to do with soccer Sorry, guys, or anything. Alan physically okay. the house. Had nothing to do with soccer. Our internet went down physically. Okay. Um yeah, sorry guys. We uh our internet went down. The pimp internet, the 55 megabits per second up and down internet. Yeah. Um <clears throat> I'm going to avoid that question cuz I don't think I need to cry <laughs> on stream today. Jaredception. Um G Dallas. I'm on G Dallas. MLG at Dallas is on tonight, by the way. After our stream tonight, which we totally intentionally timed to work out that way, you can tune into MLG Dallas and watch the second ever Heart of the Swarm tournament tonight. Mm. And there's League of Legends as well. Cool. I think. I think. Um, I'm going to play in Code S really soon. Uh... What's with the horses? Why don't we talk about horses all of a sudden? I don't understand. 55 megabits is for who people? Okay. My favorite champion league. I slot. It's back to Tristana. Really? Dude. What about the new AD carry that you were so excited about? Quinn. That Quinn did Quinn end up being anything good uh, or was it just balls? I actually, like, no, I actually, uh. I won't use the word balls. A bit confusing, a bit different. The community, the community isn't the happiest with her, but uh, I've been playing her in the mid lane. Really? And raping! I hope that it, is raping, that's clean, right? I can say raping. <laughs> you can do I it have been, so emphatically that you shook the camera. Yes, right like, there. I mean, holding down, hair pulling, screaming rape. Like, just <laughs> <laughs> graphic detail. Quinn's, Quinn's really good in the mid lane. Um, but as a carry, it seems like I'm way more effective with Graves. I don't know. You know, it's funny. It's, it's like we have our own our own wine tasting words. You ever know wine tasting? They have all the words on the sheet that like describe all the flavors and the complexity of the flavors. Our words range from balls. You're like, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use the word balls for the new AD carry. But I will use the word rip <laughs> to describe the... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go as far as balls. <laughs> Let me talk about rape for a second. That's funny. Um, actually, I kind of like her. I was, I was surprised that... Um, no, actually, this is just Coca-Cola. Um, for the time being. Um, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to buy every AD carry that ever comes out because that's cool. Um, if she had a bit longer range... I don't know. You haven't played her. She's she's got a really short range, and, play, yeah. and and her E like her escape, if you can call it that, makes her go in first mm -hmm. and then pop out. But she's not invulnerable going in. So if you're playing with people that are like good, they just catch you with it. So your escape becomes like a kill me. Oh, and, so, uh, so they stun you after you go yes. in, kind of a thing. And I'm just like, you know, after playing a lot of graves and trips, it's like I like an inherent like just escape. I point in that direction, my guy goes whoop, and flies there for a sec, yeah. just for repositioning and team fights and everything. She can't really do that. But she has a crazy kick. It's really weird. Yeah, her her ultimate turns into a, a bird that basically runs and attacks twice as fast. So it's like the ultimate. But it also skin. takes damage for you, right? Like you become the bird. Right? I so become the bird. Yeah. So basically, I turn into a melee character, which is kind of weird, right? Because mm. in ADC you want to be bad. But basically, I'm a super squishy but super high DPS melee character that runs so fast. Yeah. You can't get away. So as soon as you're in any dueling situation. When the opponent's like, oh shit, I'm not gonna win, does, you're dead. There is no escaping from me. Mm. And, uh, and I usually actually snowball really hard because of that. Especially mid lane. Because a lot of mid laners just aren't used to it. Like, if yeah. Quinn targets you with her Valor, and you auto attack, then E, which targets him again, to the next auto attack, that is like two thirds of any AP mid's health instantly. And then you couple it with an Ignite, and when you're in there, one more auto attack, and they're just dead. And people like like I just raped the hell of a Nidalee yesterday, mm -hmm. and and I I felt actually bad for the guy. He eventually just started not he just stopped playing. He started just trolling and running in circles, making yeah. the laugh noise because there's nothing he could do. Yeah. Like I just completely rolled his face, even on equal money. It, it seems like 
Well, you know, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. all those all those mechanics you're describing that are not typical AD carries. And so it's good that they have a variety in their character design. Right? Yeah. It's 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 good that it's not like oh she's an exact copy of this but with a bit more range and a bit less yeah. damage. You know, it's, it's good that they have the yeah. different mechanics and they have. It is. It's, it is. Like, it's like hey, don't play the, don't play him. Yeah. You know, don't play her. Like play the fifty thousand other characters. Well, fifty thousand, yeah. but. I don't know how many there are. Maybe you do. <laughs> there's Other a, there's 111 right? champions. I think. There you go. <laughs> but um, but then the owner in me, like, is like every time they're like, "There's a new ADC." I'm like, "Okay, perfect. Can you make him just like Graves, but with maybe a little bit more range and like a little bit better here and there?" Like, I want one of my abilities to be like a wave clear. I want one of my abilities to be just an escape or a gap closer. I want one of my abilities. It's like Graves has a really really good kit. And you get addicted to that, and, and then you go to other carriers, and you're like, ah. Oh. The mm. Graves has everything, then. except a, a, a short range. But People anyway. are complaining. You're on a tier low. Sorry. Uh, Whatever. But no, no, no don't, don't apologize, because that's what, you know, we're into a game. We're yeah. into general. I'm into a game. People are like, oh, pure general. It's how I roll, man. I get <laughs> into one game, and then I obsess over it. And then I move on to the next game, and I obsess over it, and I move on to the next. And when Pyrrhon started, it was generals. And there would be no Pyrrhonage if we didn't obsess like this. So. There you go. And in fact, if you want obsession, wait till that new Command Conquer hits. I don't know how good or bad it would be, but I will tell you to try it only because it's free. I know I'm not costing anybody money by giving that opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, costing them time. Costing them time. Precious time. Yeah. 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 Opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Age of Empires 2 HD. Glad you said it. Glad you reminded me. Did you ever play that? Here we too. No, I didn't. <clears throat> no, I, no, I think I did. I think I did play Age of Empires, and it didn't grab me. I played like one or two games. AoE 2 in the franchise was considered like the best. And mm -hmm. Even AoE 3 came out, it was really pretty, but most of the community was like, uh. So they just remade it in <clears throat> HD. They did. They're like, oh fuck it, AoE 2 HD with some new multiplayer features and shit. It's like. Man, it's like Generals 2, HD. Generals yeah. HD with like proper support oh, yeah. and matchmaking system yeah. and like everything. G like. Generals HD comes out, and I'm like, sorry guys, there's no movie, you can have your money back. I'm just gonna go play this till I die. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, stop bringing me food and water, and that's the last you heard of me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, looking over questions in the chat. We're going to owe royalties. I know. <laughs> Ask questions, man. Um, ask questions about how awesome we are at using Facebook. Yeah, man. Checking to see if somebody put <coughs> out that we're streaming live on our Facebook. Yes. Oh, hold on. Oh, cool. Hi, fam. Our um, first intern is here, our only intern. Yeah, the so chicken now man. She can a few questions. Now, yeah. yeah, chicken man is here. <laughs> I forgot about chicken man. Oh, man. <laughs> um, people want to know what the books behind us are. Are they fake? No, they're real. And they're uh, actually <coughs> vinyl classical music from everybody from Tchaikovsky to Debussy yes. to yeah, Puccini to yeah. Shostakovich. To my favorite watch. I hope I don't drop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't drop. This is a good one. It should be on everybody's bookshelf. Oh, yeah. That one, man. Volume Next zero. Case, if you don't read this webcomic, this is like the smartest, funniest webcomic on the internet. Anything you read that isn't this is not as funny. Just to let you know. I don't have any shares in their company, but I legitimately think that this is the funniest shit I might have ever read. Uh, and Mark, put that back up. And what happened? What happened with comics with the advent of the internet is remarkable. Mm -hmm. Like, internet comics spank like United Feature Syndicate, Sunday yeah. Paper, garbage. Like, how did they ever? The, the, did they not try finding real talent, or like maybe it was just so bland? I guess, or I guess, but you know, Garfield's still in newspapers and print media. Yeah, there's way better web comics than any print comics. 
Internet comics are lame. Oh my god. <laughs> All comics are lame then. Is, is that what's your is that is that what's your quantifier on that? Some internet comics are lame, or all internet comics are lame, or in general, internet comics are lamer compared to print comics, is that what you're saying? I'd rather hold a comic <laughs> than go buy the FKCD internet comic book. Dude, I'm holding this right now, man. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, man. Or, the best part about this is I got to read it online for free or, before <laughs> I knew if I liked it. Pick up your monitor, man. You want to hold a comic. You're so this generation, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, and, and it's, uh, of course, like a, it's hard to rationalize, but the smell of a comic book, I don't know if anyone yeah. can relate to that, but um, I'm a guy, I have uh, quite a few long boxes, they were called, long mm -hmm. boxes, backed and boarded thousands of comics in my mom's basement from Calgary when I grew up, I used to collect comics, and by collect I mean never read almost any of them, you I would just buy them. them never opened, like straight back, boarded. I had OCD, like as a kid, pretty serious. And it's like there was some pleasure to the perfection and categorization of all these comic books that I still have, including in there, half a dozen Wolverine number ones, never opened, perfectly back and board, got to or something. Still have it? Yeah, still have wow. it. They're still sitting there. I had spectacular Spider-Man number one from like 78, back and boarded, mint, like and one, two, three, four, five. Death of Superman, I had a dozen, and they were worth like a hundred bucks the next day. Until Superman, and then they fucking back. bring them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is my retirement. Death I went around to nothing. multiple stores, secured multiple Death of Supermans, only to have them be worth like cover price two weeks later because DC doesn't understand. Anyway, whatever, man. Um, <clears throat> Yo, when you going to play? Yo, league, 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 huh? Hmm. League, league, league. I have been into Magic. We've talked about this in the past. I won't get too into it. Uh, but yeah, used to play a lot of the card game Magic, and now I play actually online. Uh, will either of you guest star on Tabletop on Geek Century? Are you from Tabletop? <laughs> uh, I actually got asked that last week, and I said, yeah, I totally. I love Tabletop Gaming. And then uh, the guy wasn't even from Tabletop, man. He starts, he just, he's just like, uh, I, cool, I just wanted to know. I yeah. happen to know who coordinates tabletop. Oh, really? Yes. Why don't we get on that? Two v two some bitches, man. <laughs> um, yeah, some, uh, a couple of cast members of Space Genders might be on tabletop. I don't know if not final, might be, but, um, yeah, might happen. I don't know. But they're, they're really into it. They play Battlestar Galactica. They probably suck, though, man. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're pretty big into it. Uh, yeah. apparently BSG is a great board game. Really? Yeah, apparently. Huh. And I, I played. Uh, I played with. Uh, I played with them. I played uh, Small World, which was amazing. It's just like wow, like game design, like you know, okay, art, fine, like actual pieces, whatever, fine. But tabletop game is all about the design, really. Like it's like okay, yeah, like there are other concerns, but the primary concern is just making the mechanics of the game fun and amazing and great social experience and all that. You know, uh, have you been to Snakes and Lattes lately in Toronto? No. So Snakes and Lattes is a, is a coffee shop where um, you sit down, you order your coffee, you got your biscotti, you got your muffins, whatever, um, just like any other coffee shop, except they have an insane number of, of board games on the, like, covering their walls, just like every board game you can imagine, they have it. And you go and you pay $5 and you can game. You can sit down and you can play board games, pull a game off the wall, whatever. Um, they uh, started out in a small, smallish place on, on Bloor and Bloor Street near Bathurst. And uh, they have since taken over the unit beside them. They've doubled in size. They've renovated it. It's pimp inside. It's nice. It's like the sweetest coffee shop you've ever been in. And, and there's, you walk in and there's a guy at the podium like, Hi, can I help you? Can you be seated? And I, was, I went in there yesterday and I was like, Yeah, can I, I just want a coffee. I don't want a game. Can I get a coffee? Sit down. And he's like, No, I'm sorry. <laughs> like it's like a, it's like half hour wait to like game. the place is packed. Do they have a packed with tabletop gamers just like socializing? Do they have a solo queue? Though? Like, can I go and queue up and be like, dude, I don't have any you, friends? You can probably like walk around and say like, hey, is that game you know resetting soon? And is there another player? You could probably do that. I'm sure you could. Send me the address. I might try to solo queue that thing. Yeah, I don't have anyone to go with. Yeah, go 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 ahead and solo queue games with this. They have yeah every game. It's crazy. Huh? It'd be a good way to meet people. I don't need enough people anymore. 
people that are still in school, all of you guys, which probably most of you at least in still in university or maybe just entered the workforce and have social jobs that aren't in your own room at home writing, um, enjoy that, man, because I really miss it. I feel like I'm really not social these days. Yeah, I, I stayed home with my family, and then I school is just social out your ass. I like, just, it's like, crazy. I work in my office. Um, yeah. Even the movie now, like the movie progress, like movie progress is mostly in my office, in my home, where I feel like I'm hiding away from my family in a room, and I'm pacing back and forth, sweating because my office is so hot on the upper floor, and I just sit there and sweat and write down ideas and sit there and sweat. But it's 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 just solitude in cart. Like it's I don't meet anybody. I hear about things like snakes, snakes, snakes and lattes, and I, I just feel like, man, I, I need to just walk in and queue up solo and meet somebody. Be like, dude, can we, can Start we, a can we play a game? System. Do you want to have a conversation? I haven't talked to anyone in person in like a month that wasn't like work-related conversation, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why the IM trip's are really good, because it gets me out of my house, it makes me go to Germany, and then even though the days are really long, when the days are over, we go for dinner, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like socializing, there's like people. And, not social enough, sings Lady Gaga on the stage. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, honestly, it's uh, it's hard to explain. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe that I'm shy. Yeah, I sang Lady Gaga on the stage, but really, like, when it comes to these kind of social interactions, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know how to make friends. I'm so <laughs> alone. <laughs> uh, anyway, someone want to be my friend? I'm sure nobody wants to be your friend on the stream there. We used to have so many friends, remember? Remember? In school? Yeah. We'd be like, what are we doing today? Like, we're going to go hang out after school physically yeah. together in a place, and we'd play Smash Brothers, and we'd do things like... And now I just... I'm just in my house. Really sad. Yeah. Well, it requires an, an active partaking, you know, in getting out there, I guess. Whereas it's passive yeah. only in school. It is. <clears throat> uh, I missed the premieres a little bit, actually. Where is it fun? It's an opportunity yeah. for me to be social. It's every couple months, man. Um, your goatee is looking glorious, by the way. Oh, and glorious. It, it is pretty thick. I, I was going to remind you myself. Thicken it up, man. Yeah, just growing that stuff. How big are you going with it? Are you going like Game of Thrones? Day to day, or? man. Just, yeah. I don't know. It's, I, I, with, with facial hair, practicalities are a big concern to me. Like, oh, it's yeah, like, yeah. I just want to, like... <clears throat> store like, food. Like it, <laughs> yeah, basically, for later con consumption. But, like, if I have a full beard and it's getting long, I'm just like, I, just, I want the feeling of, like, shave. Just, like, psh, puts on some aftershave and, you know, and just, like, the clean shaven feeling is, like, I crave that now, right? So I'm like, I can get rid of this motherfucker, you know? It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but at the same time, it's like, no, 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 it's... No, 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 let's just grow it. Let's see what happens. I've never, I've never done this before in my life. We'll see how my facial hair grows. You know, let's see. If you're going to ditch it, you should ditch it before the summer. Yeah. Because I had a goatee once in my life, and I ditched it near the end of summer and fall. Never considered that the whole summer my face had been tanning. But oh. not this. <laughs> and I shaved my goatee, and there's this moment of panic as I'm like white <laughs> here. And I look like a guy that just shaved his goatee for a month. <laughs> so, uh, don't do what I did. Yeah, I got a, um, it was tanning, uh, yeah. considerations. Um, a lot of people are like, updates the movie. It's still... You got some good scenes today. Yeah. I, think. Uh, I don't know, do you like those ideas? They're good. Yeah. There's lots of good ideas. I, I wish we were just done. I, I wish we could move on to like step two, but we can't. And this is kind of not maybe because I, I like to toy with the idea that maybe I'm a writer, the most important step in the whole process. But if the script's no good, the movie can't be good. And we can't really rush it, I guess. But I wish there was more to show you. And I wish we could talk about the scenes and then use like one of those men in black things in the stream and be like, guys, K fucking Jeremy's gonna come in and do this thing and then he gets the girl, Pshh! and everyone just blanks. They got the story and then we just blank their memories. Be yeah, the best yeah. way to do yeah. this stream. Um, but for now, <clears throat> ah. what you want me to tell you the script? I yeah. like talking about it's like, well, I'll tell you the whole script if you want. <laughs> if you want to see it, <laughs> uh, yeah. Everyone, leave the chat for a second. We'll talk and come back later. Um, you know, as someone says, everything's computers and internet. We are evolving as a culture in that way, and it's depressing. 
Um, I, I I was just thinking like, when was the LCD screen invented? Like, I bet there's some basic prototypes in the nineties, and then you know, or even earlier, and then it really came to fruition in the last decade. Yeah. And think about how much of your life do you spend looking at an LCD screen? Never in the history of humanity has there been so much time staring at such a recent invention. Like your phone, your laptop, your, you know, your TV, your computer screen, we stare at these like recent inventions that weren't around. And it's like a huge chunk of like 60% of my waking, 60% of my life. Probably, yeah, it is, is yeah. looking at a TV screen. Yeah, and I often, I think about that a lot because of my little guy who watches my behavior. Right? Kids model their behavior after their parents, so I try not to be like when he's awake and we're interacting. Like I never want to be that guy staring at the screen because then I'd be like, "Oh, that's what people do." Yeah. Let me go stare at a screen over here when I'm I'm trying to encourage him to interact with his universe and learn the basic skills so that you know has coordination later in his life. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Um, did you see that picture? It went viral on Facebook, I think. Maybe it was Reddit too. It was like 2005, some location. Uh, St. Petersburg or something. It's like 2005. There's like a bunch of people like looking at something. It's like 2013. Same event. It's an annual event. 2013. Just eight years later, and the landscape is looking at it with all cell phones, cell phones. Yeah. <clears throat> and no one is anymore living in the moment. Everyone is recording the moment for a future moment never that's never going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're at a rock concert and you're watching your favorite band and your brain, your CPU cycles are occupied by playing your phone and re recording the event, you have a fucking problem. Put your phone away, live in that moment, remember what you can here, but enjoy the moment, because all these people from 50,000 angles have a, a video of the Tool concert. It'll be on YouTube. And then what, you're gonna go home and then experience the concert, be like, oh, what, what happened? I don't know, I was too busy framing my shot. But look at this, I'm gonna go home and watch it over and over in this tiny display. It's like you were fucking there, man. You could smell them. And you're on your fucking phone. Maybe I'm old, but I think there's something fundamentally so wrong about okay. watching 20,000 people with their phones out trying to record something really cool that they could actually be grokking yeah. in the moment. Louis C.K. Yeah. did a bit on that. About like if Jesus came back and would be like with their phones. Yeah, like, like, is it Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's really yeah. painful. <laughs> But yeah, and LCD screens being recent technology, I'm not talking about like basic liquid crystal polarizing technology. I'm talking about like, you know, because the Nintendo Game & Watch look at was that liquid crystal. Oh my god. Yeah, look That's at that hilarious. picture. That's really cool. Hilarious is one word. Really well, sad. There's, well, there's, you know, there's a word sad hilarious on Urban Dictionary now that I think should be a word. It's sad hilarious? Yeah, sad hilarious. Oh. It's a... Uh, it's a new word. Uh, yeah. What is it? Portmanteau? Is that, that's amazing, man. There's one guy in the bottom here. He's like, mm -hmm. got his flip phone from 2005. He's like, this thing records video at like 40p. And he's <laughs> really proud. And then look, and, 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 and I love how the photos really are. The guy in the center with the tablet. Yeah. He's holding up a tablet. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Just like blocking maximum views of somebody else. <laughs> like, what? What are people using that media for? There's no value to putting it on YouTube because there's 50,000 other videos in the same angle. It's like, this is what I recorded. I was there and here's my recording of it. Like, I was there wasn't, isn't enough. Yeah. I was there, look at this like, news article in the archives. Yeah. No, no, I was there, look at this video on YouTube that someone else took. No, it's gotta be, I took that video and I was there. Like, is yeah, that yeah. The, the appeal? <clears throat> I don't know. Dota 2 All announcer right. pack, what's that? Yeah, people said that. We can make a Dota 2 announcer pack. Um, and then we can sell it. Is that like, it's like, it's like triple kill. Like, do we say triple kill and shit like that? Or is that what the announcer pack is? Or is it? I guess so. Right? What, it's like, blah was owned by blah. Oh, interesting. But we should, though. Yeah. Well, let's get in, in character. Studio. Get in the studio. Do you imagine, like, the Jeremy lulls and stuff? We, kills we someone? Can, some hilarious <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah. It could be. Um, now, question to the chat who just suggested, can we just go do that? Or do there exist announcer packs that are licensed and then there's some gray area where we then have to go contact Valve and get the ability to do that? Or can anyone go put one on there? You can literally say random shit, apparently. You can literally say random shit, do it. Valve will definitely make a DLC. Uh... 
So even if Valve doesn't want to make a deal with us, so there's no money involved, as a community effort, is anyone allowed to publish one of those and you can bring it in the game and you're not hacking by replacing your announcer file? Right? Is that... Jerry? I will arrange this if you want, says Irish Buzz. Do it. Arrange it. Totally. Arrange. Arrange. I will do it. We'll go to Jeff's his mega studio. Jeremy will announce your Dota 2 playing. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, well, I would love to play it. know the cues are. I'm obsessed with pens. Um, Jeremy, please answer. How is your sight as you are like 30 now? Eyesight? Right? Mm -hmm. My eyesight is really not much worse than when I was 25, I guess. And I think it's pretty common. It just Every year it gets a tiny bit worse, but it's really not that bad. I wear glasses. I have astigmatism, which means my eyes are um, not perfectly spherical. They're like, I don't know, compressed into ovals or something. They're fine. Uh, I haven't personally experienced, like, I don't believe my eyes are any worse because of the fact that I've lived on a computer for half my life. Um, but of course we wouldn't know <laughs> if that was true or not because I don't know what caveman version of me and my genes would end up. Jeff, what vid what do you edit video on? What DAW do you use? Digital audio workstation is my PC. I use Adobe Premiere. And um, yeah, it's it's alright. I I got used to Premiere. For some reason it feels better, like micro wise, than uh, Final Cut. Like, Jeff's got the Premiere Micro, man. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> Final Cut, I just never never could get into it. And it's like, even as you learn the new keys or remap the hot keys or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't use a Mac for video editing, um, mainly because Macs are twice the price of PCs. And, uh, I gave a rant on Macs last stream that you can go back and uh, recommend you listen to if you want to know my thoughts on Macs versus PCs. But yeah, they're great if you're rich. Um, otherwise, you should get a PC. Sony Vegas, I've never used it. I've never used it, but um, I don't think it's a, it's a... Is it is it really like a leader? Is it really like a comparable? Um, you know, Premiere, back in the day, doing, uh, you know, in, in like 2006, 2007, Premiere encoding was garbage. I was used to encode with DivX plugin through um, uh, virtual dub. But now, Premiere encoding is amazing. I love exporting from it. They actually did it right. Um, I think they actually got the guy that worked on Final Cut to work on Premiere. So, um, yeah. Uh, Premiere, man, that's all I got to say. And uh, get a mon get a monitor with color calibration, and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, get an IPS panel, man. Yeah. Except no substitutes. <clears throat> Way and other projects do you have guys have going on besides the movie and films related? Um, we're trying to get other pieces of content as soon as our our interns uh, get going on that, and uh, aren't, we, aren't we releasing some videos? I uploaded some videos recently to the YouTube. Are you going to release those? Yeah, I um, did release. You did? Um, so three sorry, I didn't tweet them because I want to train people to subscribe to the fucking YouTube channel. That's right. But I didn't release them all. I wanted to release um, another one right after we're done today, the interview one. Mm. That way, when the stream ends, they get more Jeff and Jared content. Ah, uh, uh, that's good. Yeah, we're going to release um, some content. It's, it, it was released before. Um, but it was only through some weird player, uh, the click, whatever player. So a lot of people probably haven't Video seen clicks? this. Video clicks, yeah. yeah. A lot of people probably haven't seen this. Okay. But uh, but yeah, it's it's a hilarious interview, I think, about Dave carrying gelatinous glowing yes, fish. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So um, it the, the, uh, when we put out all the content on YouTube, like we started in January and then we ended in February. Mm -hmm. You might have noticed we, there was no episode 16 because there were some problems that are in locating episode the, 16. The footage, yeah. <laughs> so you can thank Jeff. He dug it out. He found episode 16. It's not 1080p yeah, it's yet anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's low res still, but it's there. I put that online yesterday, but it's on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you've already watched it. Um, so now that, that completes the web series, all 18 episodes 
are on YouTube now, almost all in HD, if they were filmed in HD, which is 13 and beyond. Um, do you like my still? Yeah, it's great. Uh -huh. uh, so cool. thanks for digging that up, man. And we have two more, two other videos, one of which is coming out today and the last one tomorrow, but the one today is interviewing the cool stuff. Um, <coughs> yeah, in case you didn't know, um, Windows 8, you know I had my first Windows 8 experience at IM because they give me a laptop at the analyst desk so that I can look up stats and stuff. Uh -huh. And you know that, now I don't really know Macs and when I use a Mac I feel really crippled. Like I, I just don't know what to do and I don't know how to get anything done. It was like 10 times that. They gave me this Windows 8 laptop, this Windows 8 laptop. Yeah. I was fucking useless. Like they might as well, like I would have been better off with a piece of paper and a pencil. Like there you go, Jerk. There's your like tablet for the weekend. And I'm like, oh, fucking great. I'll think of stuff and write it down. Because as if I could write anything. Like, well, you had a pen in your hand though, right? I did. But because did because this is actually what I ended up using. Actually, you know, the oh. same notepad. It's my writing notepad. So all of my, my IM notes are actually like, are, are still in here. Um, yeah, I went pen and paper because yeah. because I was like, oh yeah, Windows 8, pen and paper. Let me let me solve that problem. Um, not to say that it isn't great if I know it. Mm -hmm. The only point I'm making is is that someone who's used Windows since 3.1 mm -hmm. knows Windows really well comes into the new version of Windows, and I feel like a, a mongoloid, mm -hmm. like I really can't do anything. And the interface looks like it was developed to be touchscreen, yet no one's ever ever and I hope that Microsoft knows no one's ever gonna touch like their screen their desktop like th that's never gonna be comfortable like touchscreen works when the whole device is a touchpad and you're holding it. you're going yes yes that works this is a comfortable motion at a desk with a mouse keyboard and then reaching forward to touch your monitor mm -hmm. is retarded it's I know that they're trying to make it work I don't think it works holding your hand out is not comfortable like hold your hand out for like two minutes it takes a lot of muscle man it's it's I'm not that weak, I hope, but it's not comfortable versus like, you know? Yeah, you know, the, the Reddit AMA that Bill Gates did, um, he was asked, is Windows 8 really better than Windows 7? Like, come on. And his answer, which if you read between the lines, is, I think is a little bit suspect, he said, well, the higher number is better. Well, the higher number is better. <laughs> it, it, but it's like, <laughs> You know, no, it, if it was really better, you would say, oh, come on, this is better, and that's better. Have you tried this feature? And oh my God, it does this now and this. That would be the answer, right? Not the higher numbers are better. Yeah. It's like, but what do you do? As you, He can't say anything else. No, he can't. Of, you know, no, he he can't. has to endorse Windows 7. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's like, can you, can you imagine? Bill Gates says he's Windows 7. Like, <laughs> says yeah. Windows 8. Yeah. He's like, <clears throat> well, uh, I, I, never gonna have I use Windows 7 Ultimate. I planned to use Windows 7 Ultimate for a long time. Then again, I stuck with 90, I stuck with 98 until, no, what was my order? I, I always skip one or two Windows generations and then catch up. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah. I went like 3.1 and then you I- You didn't have Millennium Edition and all that 2000. Four people that installed that, no 2000. It was the XP went straight to Windows I, I think I went from, from 7, right? What, what was in between 98 and XP? Is that the 2000 and the Millennium and all that garbage? NT. NT. Someone said Windows NT. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But again, you know, I mean, touch, touch screens are great on a, on a contained device, and that's the whole device, and it's like a piece of paper, and you're, that's cool, and it's actually really great for toddlers. Like, I, I've been so amazed by how my son can use a computing device, and there's no way. Well, actually, he's, he's actually learning a mouse and keyboard now. It's, yeah. Well, he's got it, man. He's got it on the micro. It's pretty. I, you know, <laughs> this is. Most people be like, that's the stupid shit ever. But you know, I, I taught him WASD last week. Mm. Pretty big, like, thing, you know? Yeah, um, and then and he's probably like, well, I don't know if he's thinking on this level, but it's He like, thinks AMD like, are useless because he doesn't get strafing. He's yeah. like, but I can turn with the mouse yeah. and then use forward and back WS. So he actually only WSs and turns. Mm -hmm. I, I can dig it. I can get fine. Can, can you imagine explaining, explaining to him, like, but dad, why is the W a little bit off to the side? <laughs> no, the I'm not even going it's there. Like, yeah. Well, you see. Yeah. Like, yeah. keyboards weren't invented for Minecraft. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, they were used for something No, else? to him, keyboards and mouse are to kill creepers. Yeah. yeah they like, were invented as a creeper right. defense mechanism. But still, even in an advanced gaming keyboard, like this Razer yes. keyboard, yeah. the W is a bit off to the and side. And by the way... Just because we're, yeah. hey, we, we, grew it, we grew up yeah. with it, and we're playing with have, it. Have you gotten really used to this thing now? 
I like it. I've like gotten it. really used to it, and then I didn't have it. Oh. And I was feeling it, man. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I, I really miss it. I'm really yeah. skeptical. I'm, usually, I'm really cynical, dying skeptical, and I got this, and I'm like, eh. Silent mechanical doesn't even compute. Mm -hmm. But I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. Um, it's funny, you just change mice and keyboards and you can suck balls in a game right away. Have you noticed that? Anyway. <laughs> Not that I ever suck balls in any game, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, um, but uh, don't you remember when, when, I, when I first installed Windows 7 and I started poking around, I was like, yes. Yes. It's like, improvement. Yes. It's it's Dude, easier. Windows yeah, 7 impressive. It's like yeah, yeah. the help actually works. You start yeah. typing in your problem. It's actually yeah. solving my actual problem. Like what? Yeah. It was like it was like yes, somebody designed yeah. this OS so much better than it's. Yeah, I skipped like, Vista, man. Yeah. Happy to. I went XP to Windows 7, no complaints. Jared, you're great at IAM. Thanks, man. Uh, if you didn't see the Lady Gaga thing, you watched it on mute. Really, the comedy's in the visual. Don't listen to the to the sound. Um, and thank you, Swoot King. Um, <laughs> Windows, oh, yeah, you always skip generations, man. It's funny to hear that Bill Gates actually subtly. Yeah, man, Windows 8 is doomed, man. Anyway, it's at the next Vista. It'll be fine. They'll come on Windows 9, they'll be like, Revolution! It'll you can amazing. use your keyboard to interface with the screen, yeah. and oh, look how much faster! Yeah, it's one of those things. Like you take a risk, and you're like, you could change computing yeah. forever, you know, or yeah. you could just have a done yeah. product. Yeah. But the thing is, a lot, a lot of hardware manufacturers have been following suit. Mm. So um, there's all these laptops now that are coming out. Like the one that I was given at, at IM to use, where um, you, it's a laptop. Sorry, and it's traditional laptop, but then you can flip the screen back. You put it all the way around and you flip it over and then it's, it's, it's also a tablet. Mm, so yeah, yeah, yeah. the screen, so even when you're, when you're in regular laptop mode, the screen is, is touch. And so as a result, they don't have a scroll bar on like the touchpad where you would normally on a laptop substitute yeah, for your mouse. Yeah. So the first whole day, I'm like, wow, dude, really? Is this like 1990? I'm like, I'm like uh, 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 over to the edge, scrolling down the bar. And then the second day, quick shot's like, dude, dude, use the screen. And I was like, what? So then I like lean over to the screen and I just scroll the screen down. But part of me felt like, what am I, a barbarian? <laughs> uh. Like, oh, uh, oh, uh, like let me throw the screen down. Like I move my mouse one millimeter and I have so much control over it. I'm like, oh, I've, 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 like 20 years my muscle memory has been developing to m just pimp this mouse and make sure that it's connected to my brain and everything that happens is just intuitive. And all of a sudden it's like, no man, reach over and <laughs> on the screen. So anyways, that was me. I'm like, okay, keyboard, keyboard. <laughs> Keyboard, keyboard, huh, huh. I hear you yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's one of those things like, people are trying to uh, combine laptops and tablets into one thing. It's like, oh, look, it connects this keyboard to it. But still, at the end of the day, you want your laptop for laptop purposes, you want your yeah. tablet for tablet purposes. You know, I don't personally have any tablet purposes that I'm aware of. I don't own a tablet, I probably wouldn't buy one. My laptop's fine for my computing purposes and my electronics. Like I, but I, if I got one, maybe I would be like, oh, I can't believe I did this ever without a tablet before. I can't believe I used to do this on my laptop. But I think that like, you know, the specialization, they do used to do the different thing with different devices. It's like cramming together two inventions. I don't know if that's ever gonna work. I don't know. It's like either you have a desktop or you have a portable laptop, right? Yeah. There's gotta be a gap there. You can't have your desk <laughs> laptop portable portion in your docking station. Plus, you know, plus we're old, right? Yeah. The, the, the best one the best is that, you know, when I was 16, I'd be like, I'm never going to be that guy. When I'm 30-something, I'm not going to sit back and be like, well, in our days, it was better because we had to physically move our hands and we didn't neural interface. <laughs> but I really do feel like at this point, you know, touchscreen, because touchscreen is supposed to be this evolution of interfaces, but unless your application is ultra simple and your big smudgy finger, because by the way, that's not the greatest DPI, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, doesn't matter how high res your monitor is, if your touch device is a big smudgy one inch squared thing <clears throat> on the screen, you're not getting much precision. Like, I really do feel like a mouse pixel perfect, my 2560 by 1440, like, is a million times more precise than a smudgy thumb. It really seems like a regression to me. Um, but yeah. I appreciate it for toddlers. Touch screen's the only way to go if you have a toddler. 
if you are yourself not a toddler, you probably want a mouse. Yeah, I think. You know, so speaking of, of human and computer interface, I, I, I want to know people think about this story because it, it'll it'll date me. But like, um, I used to have a job in like 1995. I used to have one of those. I used to have a job in 1995 <laughs> where yeah. I would build computers for uh, Voodoo computers, and I would go to people's houses and often deliver and set up and get them on the internet and provide the full service. I'd go to their living room set the computer and the whole family would come around it was their first computer because it was 1995 so the family's buying a computer everyone yeah it's a big event here comes the delivery guy hey and I set it up I get them on the internet and I just you know and people are blown away at the internet they're like no they don't have anything on gluten free food do they it's like gluten free food like web crawler it's like well, web crawler I was like, going to say there's no and they're Google like, oh my god look at all yeah. the information on the internet it's like yeah it's called the internet it's 1995 yeah. internet but it's still pretty awesome so <laughs> So I, I went to one guy and I set up his computer and and it was like Windows 95 or whatever, getting on the internet and I was like, okay, so here's how you use your computer. First thing here is you click here on this icon to start this program you want to do some, some spreadsheet, whatever. And he said, whoa, 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 uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to click anything. I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to use the mouse. <laughs> and I was like... He was ahead of his time, man. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what do you mean you don't want to use the mouse? He's like... Well, I was told when I bought this computer that I wouldn't have to use the mouse. I could use the keyboard. And I'm like, yeah, you can use the keyboard, but it's much simpler with the mouse. And he's like, no, no, I want you to show me how to do it with the keyboard. I was told I could use the keyboard. I'm like, okay, well, you press Alt, <laughs> then Tab, Tab, then arrow key, arrow key, arrow key, you navigate here, Alt, Tab, <laughs> the start menu, uh, arrow key, arrow key, Tab, 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 and then Tab, Alt, 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 Tab, arrow key, arrow key, arrow key, Tab, Tab, and then you start to write in your like, you know, word process. And he was like, oh, yeah, so he tried it, he was like, what, what? And then, like, 30 seconds later, he was like, okay, show me this mouse thing. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So you put your hand on the mouse, and he went and moved the mouse, and, like, to double-click an icon was like climbing a mountain for this guy. It was like, click, move, click. It's like, you... you you can't click move click because then it doesn't register as a double click, right? It's like if you're moving, you move the icon. So here he is like, there's scooting yeah. icons around the screen. It's like he couldn't double click oh, to open the program. No. It's like, yeah. it's like click move click. And, but you know, like it, you know, he was, he was shy and embarrassed at his lack of mouse skills. And like, you know, he didn't even know to rest his palm on the surface. He was like, you know, hovering, mousing. Well, like, I don't palm it. Like, well. I'm a clogger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, like to have some portion of your arm on, yeah, 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 yeah. on the like table, right? He didn't know how to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, so he's so he's going around, and it's like, you know, it, it was one of those things, like you know, you have a direct brain connection to your desktop, and you're like, I want this program open. It opens. You don't think about, okay, push hand up. Push hand. Is something mm-hmm. happening? Oh, if something is happening. This thing, like that, was his level of human computer interaction. It was like, okay, and. If I move it, if I pull it towards me, does it move down? And then, like, you know, can I go <laughs> diagonal or do I have to go left and right? You know, that was what was going through his head when he was using the mouse. <laughs> and that's that's where you start. So this so, is amazing because just last week I watched my son do this, and he's like, yeah. oh. So and, so and it, watching it, and you could see in his brain, he's piecing together the mouse movement. And then, of course, one minute later, he's like, yeah, okay, got it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, done, done, done. Well, I'm sure this guy one minute later got it too. Like as soon as I left, he's like pro mouser, but like. So the moral of the story is that doesn't happen with boom touching on the screen. No, that's right? true. Like like humans have touched shit in their lives and they've manipulated things with their digits. And so it's like boom, boom, boom. You know, you, you don't go through that whatever five minute learning phase. So maybe that's why <coughs> tablet and touch screen is more popular. Or yeah, anyway. I was gonna throw in just because it's actually the opposite end of the scale. Like I'm not this guy, but when Windows 3.1, that was the first Windows, right? Yeah. First like public real windows that I always are using. I was super anti. I you remember. Like I refused. You were a DOS. I was <laughs> a DOS king. Yeah. Um, probably everyone that's in the live chat doesn't remember, or maybe there's some oldies too, but you know, uh, before Windows 3.1, there was no mouse involved in navigating any operating system. It was you typed in where you want to go. CD, your directory, you run the executable file, done, done, done. You set up batch files. Do everything for you. Mm-hmm. I, did. I was like a batch file king. Yeah. King. Everything was set up in batch files. Everything's fine. 
There was no registry. Like when you ran a program, it was running and you turned it off, it was done, not, your system never clogged up. Anyways, it was really simple and straightforward. But nowadays it's referred to as like command line and it seems like super hardcore, but that's how you just use a computer. And when Windows 3.1 came out, I thought anyone, and including having friends that used it, were the biggest noobs. Like I used to just like, you know, I know I was in like an elitist cloud nine, but I refused. I was like, are you kidding? I'm like, and I used to want to race you. I'm like, oh, you want to, you go and point at the nice pretty picture, Jeff. We'll see who gets there faster. Oh, I'm there. Oh, did I just type it in my keyboard? So, <laughs> so what's funny is you tell the story about this guy. He's like, I just want to use the keyboard. Of course, he's a complete new. But now he's like, I came from the office and I didn't want to use the mouse because I was like, there was something so simplistic. I'm like, really, like I'm going to move around and point at a picture? Like point at a picture as I'm reading a picture book. Th that's like literally the, the difference in my brain. And anyway, Give me a command line any day. Give me a command line any day was exactly it. I, I will learn and memorize yes. you know, 50 commands. Yes, I will and I did. I already knew them. I didn't have to. But can you imagine the usability from scratch of an iPad out of the box yeah. versus yeah. DOS? It's like, can you imagine booting up a computer and like having the expectations of human computer interface that people have today? And it going like blinking like cursor. Yeah, blinking and, like, cursor. C and, like, colon C colon backslash. backslash. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck do I do? It's like, it's what like, do you do? It's, it's like, like, it's where like, do you, like, you want to go? What, what was the DIR, error? let's start, man. Let's see what's in the directory. Well, well like, what, what was the error message? Like, it's like syntax error. Or like, no, yeah, syntax, syntax. Yeah. what was the DOS default error message? Bad, bad command or file name? Bad command, it's like, what the fuck? Bad command or file name? Bad command, you should be looking at bad command or file name for so long if, if you didn't know anything about DOS. Someone had to teach you, you had to read a book, you had to spend like two hours to learn DOS. It's yeah. true. I, I still I'm, I still miss the DOS days. Everything was simpler. I've never gotten over Windows Registry. It's always bothered me that ever since Windows 3.1, the longer you own your computer, the slower it goes, the slower it operates. That still to this day is so wrong. And I thought they were doing away with it, right? I thought Windows 8 or something was going to do with it, but then they didn't. Uh, yeah, see, so well, Macs don't have that. That's yeah. one thing that Macs don't have. Yeah. It's, it's the registry. Yeah, cool, man. Which is, which is oh, cool. you know, I was going to say, cool, let's go play League on the Mac. And then I'm like, shit, you can, right? you can now. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah. Ultimately, the greatest defense against everyone that pushes Max on me is that, like, cool, but what games can I play on that? Which, up until recently, was like only Blizzard titles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. One of our friends, Jay, played. Wow, on a Mac. He does years, years, yeah. With his with his freaking like pad, like yeah. no mouse. He would play World of Warcraft with like a dude. Okay, so um, my sister in law's boyfriend plays Starcraft two, and he's he was platinum, and he used the pad. He used the touch pad on his mouse. Uh, sorry, on his laptop. Oh, his laptop. And when I. I when I visited Vancouver once, he's like, let's 2v2, come over to my place, bring your laptop. I have, I like, I couldn't even play because I was so busy laughing, watching this guy like use this touchpad. He has no mouse. But yet at the same time, he plays Terran. So he's like, win, 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 because There's no it's just like 5 a And yeah, there was like, you know, he didn't have to do anything. Like, it was crazy. I'm like, wow. Anyway. Love to see that. Like, I would love to see... He's, he's probably so deep into touchpad terror yeah. that if you gave him a mouse, he'd play worse. Yeah, he did. He, what do he, I do with this? It's, it's like, it's, I don't have warpins. I don't have to look at anything else. Yeah, it's like Plato's yeah. cave, right? He wouldn't, he wouldn't use the mouse if you gave it to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trackpad platinum. And honestly, though, to his credit, like, Matt might have been crazy if he had a mouse. Because mm -hmm. he, he, you know, he was strategically pretty sound. And he played random, so he knew all the races, he knew all the matchups. So... But his micro was so hilariously bad. Like, he couldn't split his marines or anything. You can't do that on a trackpad. He just clumped and aimed, clumped and aimed. Yep. Super duper effective, though. Yep. Oh, man. Um, did we drop again? No, no, no. I think was, we're still live, I think. We're okay. You're, you're watching this. You're streaming. Yes. Hold on. So there's the delay hand wait. And the... Yep. Cool. We're live. Okay. Um, no one typed for, like, quite a few. I think I think people are just minimizing they're, they're, it. They're just in awe of us. Yeah, they're, they're just like, like let us know. let us like watch you. No, something happened with chat, man. There's chat's no way. Fine. Yeah, chat's fucked. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> no, it's live. Okay. I just I mean I read Jekker Dud's ha 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 like eighty times. I'm like, how could no one after Jekker Dud say anything for so long, man? It's. Uh, 
cool, man. Anyway, Jack or Dud, and that holds the record for the most times I've read ha 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 in my life. <clears throat> um, anyway, I, I really do wish we were farther into the movie making process because, you know, there's. I feel like I want to get you guys in on more stuff, but what? What do I give you that doesn't ruin it for you when it comes out? Ah. Anyway. Um, We've managed to secure some gaming per permissions. Uh -huh. That's good. And, um, and it's really funny. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Jeremy plays some games. Don't tell Jeff when he gets back. Jeremy plays some games. Mm -hmm. He does pretty good at them. And, uh, oh, fucking FPS talks in the movie, man. Crazy man, it's crazy. Um, that's pretty big. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to spoil too much. <clears throat> we are streaming throughout the whole movie development. So from now, from when we started, which is writing all the way through to pre-production, uh, all the way through production on set, all the way through post-production, when it's all in the can and it's being cut, up until, I don't know what our last stream will be, but I want to combo, I think a, a good way to go out is to combo the last stream with the first ever world premiere in person. So we try to stream as much as we can up till the night that the movie's shown for the first time. And then, and then from there, be part ways. <laughs> no, from then I just keep streaming. Fuck it. Uh, but with no obligations. Just fun, fun, fun. <coughs> um, Dave went to South Africa for work. It is Jaybird. You know, a uh, quick shot from the IM, there are other riot guys. He's also from Johannesburg. So we had a lot of talks about Johannesburg. None of which made me want to move there any faster, let me tell you. Um, I don't know what league I am in LOL anymore because I do not play ranked on my current account, although I'm going to start very, very soon. And I'm going to just be public with it. <clears throat> I'm actually afraid of getting backed into rank, back into ranked, um, because of the way the rank system is set up now. They don't have an ELO number and they have this and that. And there's all these like horror stories of people that are like, you know, really high skill, but it's really hard to get out of like silver unless you play like a lot of games and I don't have the time. So I feel like rank for me is like stuck in silver for the whole movie production, regardless of my performance, good or bad. It's kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm expecting, but uh, yeah, we will see. I did. Oh yeah. Thanks to Iris Buds for linking the Dota 2 announcer requirements. I never saw that Jeff, I bookmarked it and we'll go over it later. But um, they're very specific about what they need and in what formats and everything. And I say we totally put this together. Oh, it's happening for sure. It's totally happening. Yeah. So soon, in Blizzard terms, which could be next year, you're going to have the best Dota 2 announcer pack ever. That's pretty safe to say. All right? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah? You're down? I'll, oh, for sure. I'll come over to your place we'll do in that. Hamilton. And That's we'll <laughs> and we will record. Uh, well, well, we might have to play some Dota two to get the subtleties and yeah. get ideas about what yeah. is usually happening during these announcements. Yeah, I, I had some big Dota talks in Germany with some people, and they convinced me. Like, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna give it another try. I just don't want to do it on stream. Like, I really want to mm -hmm. have the privacy and comfort of my, my office by myself figure it out it's weird watching yourself on like a delay of like mm -hmm. three seconds because mm -hmm. I was saying subtleties and I was gesturing like this so what does it look like I looked at myself like doing this you're cupping balls bro I know I was like, <laughs> I was like who's that guy in the screen cradling balls like three seconds ago it's like oh man that cradle the balls gesturing man. this again I don't know what I was thinking remember that Stallone cradle the ball stroke the shaft oh yeah. yeah 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 the story goes uh, he yeah. He, uh, 
he had his microphone on it was still broadcasting wirelessly yes. to the sound man he was getting filleted By in his production trailer. assistant yeah yeah so and he was yeah. instructing her on how to create a prop <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's, just, it's good advice it's good advice it is it is actually he gives her good advice and most guys don't have the confidence to give good advice when being flated and you know what she took that advice to the bank she's been a better flater the rest of her life she should be thankful well many people are. it cost her her job yeah you know what even I played that for my girlfriend I'm like huh I bet you learned something today yeah, yeah. play it for your girlfriends Sylvester Stallone on set she got fired actually Really? Yeah. I mean, really? Like, you don't think that was her going above and beyond the call? Like, you were gonna fire her for that? Get me a coffee. I'll blow you. Fucking a. Like, you're <laughs> you're hired for the next, the next. Anyway, um, oh yeah, it was steak and blowjob day yesterday. I heard. Really? Yeah. Who who decrees that? Clearly not my girlfriend. Shit. <laughs> I feel Rob had neither steak. What the hell did I eat yesterday? I don't know, man. I had Korean food yesterday. It was good. Oh, lucky you. There is. Steak and Blowjob Day is the, is the response to Valentine's Day. Oh. It is, right. So, because even though Valentine's Day is supposed to be about mutual love, it's actually about showering your girlfriend with product. You know, I refuse to buy flowers on Valentine's Day just because it's, it's like, oh, three times the price of, of any other like time. It's like, yeah. Oh. You know, I'd rather... But the thing is, is I don't buy flowers any other time. Exactly. <laughs> so it's one of those things. I bought, I bought flowers for my girlfriend once. We were dating for six months. And this was a long, long, long time ago. Mm-hmm. Same, same girlfriend today. In fact, this is one of those moments where like, she's a keeper. Mm-hmm. And I bought her some flowers. And her response was, Did you kill these yourself? What do I do with these? I put these plant carcasses in my room and look at them? You know? And I was like, oh, I, maybe they smell good. Oh, the plant carcasses smell good. Oh, that's great. I'll think about that when the fact they're dead for no reason. <laughs> I'm just mm. like, okay, well, no, no more flowers for you then, love mm-hmm. you know? Um But the point was made. The point was made. There was no expectations of There was no, There was no this. expectation of, of, of buying dead plants for my girlfriend. Instead, uh, she appreciates instead actual physical affection. Mm-hmm. Hugs and kisses. Who who to thunk it? Who to thunk it, man? You know. Them shit's free. They do. It's true. It's free. It is free, and it actually makes you feel good as a person. If you don't know that, cuddles, man. Do you like cuddles? Let me get real personal here. You into cuddling? Banging. No. Banging no. free too, right? Banging. No, man. But <laughs> no cuddles are good. It's not. Yeah. See, cuddles, I'm, I'm, I'm a big cuddler, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get really personal with you guys for a second. Don't tell anyone that. I love them. Can't get enough. I could seriously, I think I could just cuddle for like eight hours straight. Did you have a stuff? Is that like the up? least, that's probably the least attractive thing a man could say in public. It's like, I just want to cuddle. <laughs> Fucking next. Um, it's man. this crazy link from Pronobozo. I wouldn't have clicked that. Cuddle Cafe opens. Only 24 pounds to sleep with a girl. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> man, Japan. Dude, Japan is so Japan. awesome. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. It's Dude, not Link's Was that Proto Bozo? Pro- Link- Pro- Pro- Bozo. <laughs> Proto Bozo was having like a, a, a beer and bacon party or something. Um, oh, thanks he, for the invite. He told me something about it. And then he gave me like his his two favorite things. He gave me a non-specific invite. I didn't know what time to come over or anything like that. He's just like, come over. And I'm like, when? He's like, apparently he's on like a like a week long party of finishing his album. And uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, Prono Bozo is a is a musician. (laughs) People are like, what a spammer! No, actually, he's a really cool guy. No, he's he's a friend of ours who has a lot of music on the Pure On soundtrack. um, Yeah, yeah. He's finishing a new album. Um, Anytime beer bacon. He's working on his album and he's drinking beer and eating bacon. All week, and and the beer is coming from his fans. People are bringing beer to his house, or sending him beer, or whatever, or what? giving him money to we're buy beer. St- we're stupid men. We could have a beer bacon thing. Oh my god! <laughs> I just realized. Why are we doing this? Where is Prombozo? He's um, I don't want to say where he lives, but he's downtown. 
Why have we been doing this in season one? I don't know, man. Beer and bacon party. Wow, people. Yeah, wow. Anyway, That's I don't know if you guys like bacon, but two people in the world I don't trust. If you don't like bacon and or you don't like dogs, I can't do business with you, man. Mm-hmm. I can't. Do, I can't even be your friend. Mm-hmm. Can't be your friend. If you're a vegetarian, you're like, well, I don't eat bacon, but I appreciate it's the best tasting food on the planet. You you get a you get a buy. You get a buy. I'll still be your friend. If you're like, I think basic bacon tastes bad. It's like, who, you're from the planet Kolob. Who has said that? Get the fuck out of here right now. Who thinks bacon? I don't know. I don't know. There's someone out there. Someone in the chat right now doesn't like bacon, and he needs to go. Did we talk about this? It was like, you know, like people. Some people eat shit, right? So it's true. I was talking about this. I think. Yeah, it is true. Um, crazy man. Cuddle Cafe. Jarrett, what's your favorite book? <clears throat> That's a really hard question. Um, because favorites, like which was the most influential, which in its time when you read it at the age you were at had the biggest emotional impact. There's all those kind of things. So I could say my favorite book is, you know, Terran Wanderer from the Chronicles of Pride Ain that I read when I was 10 because it had such an emotional impact. But you'd read it now and you'd be like, Dude, what are you, four? So, considering everything, considering age, when I read it, everything, favorite as in I had so much fun reading it, I had to read it again right away. And in fact, I do think it's the only book I ever flipped the end, went back, page one, new bookmark, and immediately reread. Mm-hmm. Not because it was intellectual that, because I had so much fun reading it, it was Robert Heinlein's Stranger in a Strange Land. Mm-hmm. The first book I ever read. The Unabridged? Read. Unabridged. You've got to get the That's big, a long ass book. You've got to get the one. big, big hair back. Um, if you haven't read that, I highly recommend reading that. It's yeah, very fun. Some good stuff in there. My, uh, I think my favorite book is the unofficial required reading of every scientist or engineer. Robert Feynman. No, sorry, Richard Feynman? Richard Feynman's Surely You're Joking, Mr. Dude, Feynman, yeah. which is an amazing book. It'll blow your mind. And it, it's, he's basically Mark Singel. He's basically yeah. our friend who's standing right there. Yeah, up there. Yeah, I think I, I lent oh, it to it? you, and I don't think you read it yet. I read part of it. Yeah. Part? I'm not a reader. Yeah, Mark's not a reader. Yeah. But he's my second favorite scientist. Who's your favorite scientist? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson's favorite scientist. You ever see that video where he talks about? Not Tesla. He's too mainstream. He's, he's a showman. He he's he wasn't really a scientist in a lot of ways. He was a you know technologist. He's an engineer. Yeah. yeah, but like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was asked who's his favorite scientist, and he says, um, he, and it's actually where the meme comes from. The meme of like, well, we got a badass here. It's a still from this video. Him saying, um, he says, so why do you like Isaac Newton? He's like, well, you know, he he figured out you know motions of the planets. He was figuring out the forces and. He, 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 he ran into a brick wall. He couldn't get past this. So, you know, he was 24 years old and he invented calculus to help, help solve his problems. His he, problem. he, he, invented, he, he invented calculus and he does the little badass thing. Like, he just invented calculus to help yeah. him. And he's like, hey guys, I found this mathematical tool that I think works pretty There's well. There's no language so to express what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. let, me, let me create the language in, first. Invent fucking calculus. <laughs> and if you learn calculus, yeah. you're, like, you're like, oh my God, like, this is amazing. Like, this, yeah. What a mathematical tool. Yeah. Like I could do so much now, and it's and it's such yeah. a great idea to yeah. do all the infinitesimals and infinite sums yeah. and um, you know sequences and series and all that math that was developed. And I used to time. have that dream. Like that's when I went into university. That was my dream. I was like, oh, I want to be the next Isaac Newton. And then you actually read about what people like Isaac Newton did at the age that they did it at, and you're like, yeah. I'm way too fucking dumb. Yeah. I'm gonna go write <laughs> jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, I don't think I'm a stupid man. But when you compare yourself to the likes of Isaac Newton, you realize that unless you are like the gigantically craned motherfucker, it is so hard to push the envelope in 2013. Mm-hmm. It's so hard to push the envelope now. It's so much easier to just make people laugh. And almost so much more rewarding. Like, someone laughs at someone, you get the laugh in your face, oh, and you're like, oh, I feel so good. Inventing calculus. Would be Inventing calculus, cool. but it was already invented, man, so what am I going to do? I would have invented calculus <laughs> in like, high school if he didn't already do it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, little note, we were both physicists, you know, back in the day. First year university, that's right. First year university, you want idealist, which is actually appropriate. I think most writers are idealists, but when I went into university, the counselor was like, what do you want to do with your life? My answer was, I want to understand the universe. 
and I started in astrophysics. It was my, my first declared major. Quickly, re just physics. After I, I dropped the astro part when I realized it was three hour labs and like butt fuck nowhere. Yeah, at, you had to spend a lot of time like, looking at radio telescopes. Yeah, and no, telescopes. radio telescopes, not about that. I was just thinking about universe, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> um, Jared, you're an actor, right? What have you done other than Pure Rush? I'm, I'm really not. I mean, like, I'm technically an actor, I'm in the actor's union, and I've been credited as an actor, I've worked professionally as an actor, but all I've ever acted in is stuff I've casted myself in. And I think until you get cast by somebody else in their work, it's kind of hard to call yourself an actor, I think. Well, and, and typically, like, as, as an actor, too, um, you know, we all, we all got into this business in a very strange way that mm -hmm. has been done before. But as an actor too, like you start out, you started doing commercials, you just build a portfolio, yeah. act in some short films, you start out, you know, this kind of stuff. And like, you know, I don't think you're the kind of guy that would be dragging yourself to four commercial auditions a week, yeah. you know, doing commercials in between the possibility right. of doing a show. Yeah. And getting cast in a show, there's, there's not many productions, you know, around, yeah. especially in Toronto and from a, and compared to LA, of course. But of course, you know, if you're in Canada, Toronto's a place to be for television or Vancouver. But, um, you know, getting a lead in the series, it's hard to come by. <laughs> and, and what's funny is that <clears throat> if I grew up in Toronto or L.A. or anywhere where there's actually an entertainment community and industry, I might have taken a far more traditional role. Because I was doing stand-up comedy. Because mm -hmm. there was stand-up comedy out west in Canada. But in Calgary, you do not become an actor. So it was never on the radar. Like, never in my life till I moved to Toronto did I ever think that I could be an actor. And then I moved to Toronto and then... Jeff and I started Pironage, and then I was acting in the show, but it was really an extension of my stand-up comedy, and then never did I ever think about being an actor. Although lately I've thought a lot about it, because you know, I have this, I've now been an actor, and I can go look for other acting work, but at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, when you wake up and you say, hey, you know, what do I want to do today with my life? What's, what am I excited about working on today? Although I would love to be an actor, it doesn't excite me more than the other ideas that excite me that get me out of bed and they get me working on that stuff. And so as soon as I run out of stuff that's exciting me even more, I would totally love to be an actor. And in fact, I really, really, really enjoy acting, but it's so, it seems, still, even living in Toronto, it seems the idea of making a living for a family, to have a child and have people rely on me, and I'm like, all I'm gonna do is act, I'm an actor. Yeah. That's a big risk, that's really, really hard. It's a hard living, and right now I just, I need to have a job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do some stand-up for us. You can stand up on a stream. Stand-up doesn't work that way. Stand-up is a live audience thing. Stand-up is like, you know, it's you can't just say, oh, you're a comedian. Tell me a joke. Yeah. You're standing on the street one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work it's, that way. It's, it's an Especially, art form that is, yeah. has, has an encompassing package. Some work that way. Very rare. The, the, the Vegas style. Comedians refer to it as the Vegas style. And I think M Mitch Hedberg was a bit of that Vegas style. So if you've never seen or know of Mitch Hedberg, I would totally recommend it because you will laugh your ass off. And he had the kind of one-liners that I could bust in a stream and he'd be like, oh, that's so funny. Um, but the stuff I did was, was uh, it was more ranty, cerebral. Uh, Yucks built me as dark cerebral comedy. I have a very dark sense of humor, so it was, it was like a lot of sex, drugs, and rock and roll with the cerebral, more cerebral twist than just like, yeah. It was very university comedy. Um, but it, it doesn't really work well, and it's big setups for the punches, and it's just like, it, it, it's, just not a, it's not a joke, I just can't. I could discuss premises, right? Yeah. You know, simple premises, right? Here I'll discuss a couple, I'll, a couple premises, okay? Now this is actually, uh, the reason I bring this one up, because it's been since used in commercials and, and other advertisements, because it's been over 10 years since I did this material on stage, so. Um, obviously people are gonna come and see this, but I used to talk a lot about how I couldn't eat vegetables as a feel, uh, because of the guilt that I'd experienced because they were these living creatures that didn't have the opportunity to run away. And you'd have meat and all the meat we eat and people at the time were always like, oh, veg you know, it's like, oh, don't eat meat, it's cruel. But I'd be like, you know, these, these animals have legs, they can run away, they're choosing not to run, they're big, the cow's way bigger than me, you could fight me, the cow's not even fighting me. But the vegetable's sitting there just absorbing the sun. And then I would focus on why do you hate vegetables? Is it because they photosynthesize their energy and you, you resent them for that? So, so those kind of like half scientific, half joking kind of topics are the stuff I'd, I'd explore on stage. And comedy would emerge. That didn't sound funny, but comedy would emerge, trust me. And um, yeah, things like, like tilting, and I still believe this is a good idea, man. 
tilting parking lots toward the store and putting the handicapped wheelchair spots at the back. So you can just... Yeah, and they can roll in. But how do you get back? T-bars. That was T-bars. T-bar. T-bar. You have a... I don't know if you guys yes, ski, but you, right. you T-bar... Ah? Mm-hmm. Ah? Okay. <laughs> oh, so bad. Um, Funny. If, if, anyway. If, if you know too much about practicalities that surround the premise of a joke, it yeah. ruins it. Like, it ruins it, yeah. Like there's a, I was thinking about this. There's a few classic examples. Like, like Jerry Seinfeld um, had a joke where you know, he wants to deal with airplane boots. Like, well... It's, there's limited space, it's hard to get the cooking and the logistics of the airport. And like, if you know about all this stuff, then you know why airplane food's bad. And like, the other joke is like, if the only thing that survives the crash is the black box, why don't they build the whole plane out of the black box? Oh! And it's like, well, aerodynamics dictates that this and the material science, <laughs> you, you can't actually have something that survives a crash actually fly on its own if it was the whole object. And la la. You know? And then there's another one. Oh yeah. Why do skydivers wear helmets? Parachute doesn't open, you're gonna die. <laughs> it's like, well, actually, you can have a hard landing, you can run and then see the trees, and blah blah blah. Like, just the so ultimate I'd, comedy I'd, bummer, man. I'd, I'd love to write a scene in the show where, like, some guy just like busts comedy with all this knowledge of, like, you know, knowing too much about it, or I don't, you know. I'd, it is, yeah, it's true, and especially because I had a science background too, so. I ruin a lot of jokes for myself because there's often a very reasonable answer to mm-hmm. the rhetorical question, but. Um, yeah. Don't judge my comedy off my crappy premise explanations, man. You don't know. Yeah, we um, should uh, play before we have to go. Yeah, we should. We should play today. We have to. We have a hard out. We got to go in an hour yeah. and seven minutes. If if we have to go in an hour and seven minutes, we can play two games. Okay. Right. Well, I'm already in a game. Where are you? Well, the next gen's be in the movie. I don't think so. Uh, oh, there might be brutal time because a when we conceived of the movie, funded the movie, there was no such thing as another generals. It never even occurred to me that there might ever fucking be one. I didn't think EA was smart enough. And now that there is one, the closed beta starts the spring, but the open beta, AKA the one that won't have an NDA that allows people to actually use footage, won't be until the fall, and by then we'll have shot the movie. So it's, it's a little, it's poor on the timing, but uh, at the same time, if, if it had been, a, say, a year earlier and it was coming out now, what if we use that game and then it totally sucks and they totally abandon it and they abandon the community just like Zero Hour and then we ended up making this movie with this game that's, that's false. Yeah, yeah, we don't know, no, we, we don't know the quality of the game and that's a consideration too. Oh, he meant next gen's console? <laughs> there you no, go. no, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Will the next gen's be in the movie? Oh, maybe will the next gen's be in the movie? <laughs> gen's means generals, man, not generations. <laughs> well, we'll let him pick it up. Anyway. So are you in game here? I can invite you. No, I'm not in game. Hold on. <clears throat> Is there anywhere we can watch your stand-up? Unfortunately not. Uh, I pulled it all offline years and years and years ago. There are actually a couple people that have seen it, but are kind enough not to redistribute. And the reason for that is because I still have this fantasy that one day I will generate the courage to get back on stage and do it properly and in HD and with good delivery, not amateur 10 years ago delivery and really kill it and then put that out. And I still want to do that. I have to finish some things in life first and get myself in a good headspace because it's a very, very difficult thing to do. If you've never done stand-up comedy, it is not easy. By Femme Fatale Intern. Thank you for helping in the questions in Skype. I need uh, game invite powers, and they're not working. That's kind of balls. Alright, I'm gonna make another game here. Okay. I'm logging in. I've, I've had this problem so much. It's like, I, yeah, I gave you invite powers. Well, it's great. That's all I gotta say. It's like, it's, it happens all the time. There's some kind of balls. How has that guy been vacuuming for like two? <laughs> 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 
That's, <laughs> I don't know if this will help. It's, it's the mic placement. Actually, it's, it's sitting on top of a desktop that's too loud because my awesome new desktop is totally quiet. Um, Asus decided that they didn't want that to work today. So I had to put this mic there on top of this old desktop that sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Sorry guys if that's been crappy audio the whole time. <clears throat> um, what's that noise? Did it just kick up now? You should accept the invite to the email. Am I online? <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. I actually have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hmm. Well, I don't know what kind of stories I can even tell here. What do you want to know, guys? Show more book collection. You want to talk about your book collection, Mark? We can talk about it. Oh, let me see what else we got here. My, my favorite one there, I think. This one here? Erotica Universalis. Now, I think if I were to show this, we could possibly get banned from streaming, so I'm going to cover up the boobs. <laughs> But uh, apparently this is a thing. Um, it's a book that has pictures that I can't show you. Um, that's, I guess, what is it? Old paintings of porn? Old school porn. Old school porn. Um, it's Mark's favorite book. Actually, XKCD is. XKCD is your favorite book. Oh, well, introducing Newton, Einstein, introducing mathematics. Build the perfect survival kit. <laughs> this is great. Darwin Evolutionary Writing. A Handbook of Mathematical Tables and Formulas. Let's see. Here we go. We've got some formulas and some uh, certain relations among derivatives. And uh, sorry, you guys can't see this interesting stuff here. There we go. Oh, Boolean functions, man. What do you know? Linear algebra. You're pretty boring by yourself, Jeff. Yeah, I'm trying to bore everyone. <laughs> You're ready to get Jared back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there's like a whole bunch of dust just came out of this book when I closed it. Ugh. Well, you should read the post-it note in the Universalis book, then. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the first page. Okay, try not to flash porn in your bike. A dirty book is rarely dusty. Hmm, wisdom. There you go, for that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it, here's uh, some evidence that uh, the mathematical formulae book is full of dust and the uh, impeccably clean uh, old school porno book is, uh, is like new. So, can we get a teaser of the music for the new PP movie? I don't know. Um, I haven't recorded anything yet, but I've been practicing and playing drums a lot. Um, so yeah, I want to do all those funky beats that used to be in the web series on real drums. And it's going to own... And I'll have to talk to Prona Bozo and Dave DeDuerk and Linda Gallant, all the other musicians, get them back together. So it's the real ownage music. <coughs> Wish his computer would stop vacuuming. It's because I loaded League. That's what happened. I loaded oh. League and the fans kicked in. Yeah, oh. there's, there's a story to that. I hate going to bed with a minty taste in my mouth. We well, should like, tell the story. <laughs> I like savory. <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of our, our um, bacon conversation, mm -hmm. I was in the bathroom just now, and I don't mean to snoop through people's stuff, but I do. And I found this. Bacon toothpaste. Now, ba bake? <laughs> now, Mark actually doesn't brush his teeth before bed. Unless, no, 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 even this isn't very good. It's not good enough for him. He likes going to bed with a savory taste in his mouth, not I, mid teeth. I know. And like, that's the worst time because it's when all the conjugate acids dissolve your teeth for like, you know, your eight hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like maximum tooth damage. So yeah, that's yeah. why I always brush your teeth before bed um, or after a meal. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's, you got people have priorities in life and to solve this problem, bacon toothpaste was presented as an option. <laughs> Um, but, but apparently it wasn't uh, wasn't suitable. So uh, tooth decay. 
It's for decoration, y'all. That's it. That's all. Just for decoration. This guy must shop on Think Geek a lot, says Pipson. <laughs> Mark's laughing. Pipson? Yeah, man, Pipson. So classic, man. You beat Raz Pipson. Pipson. Pipson, you still yeah, in that? Uh, Raz on Pipson. How many times did I read that? Are you still in LA, Pipson? What are you working on? Pipson was in school for uh, acting, I believe, last I talked to him. Really? Sorry, San Francisco, that's right. He's almost done his studies. That's cool. Gibson was um, a druid, I think, a kick-ass druid uh, in our Pironich uh, guild. He was in the movie? The name was in the movie. The name was in, uh, in episode one of Pironich, the TV series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Juicehead is an actual guy that always ran out of mana, so they're like, Juicehead's out of mana, you'd hear, you'd hear every, every, every boss fight. Okay. So, <clears throat> somewhere on Twitch there's like a way for, <clears throat> for me to change our category to like League of Legends now, like playing League. Oh. But on League, I don't know what I have our category on. Bacon toothpaste, though. What do you think about taking that mic off the computer? Yeah, but look at how short the cord is. <clears throat> Where do I put it? Oh, it's directional and shit. So. Yeah. False. False. I don't know what to do with it, man. The best I can do is like that. I'm going to listen to the stream and see how annoying it is. Is it really annoying, that whirring sound? No one brought it up until I loaded LOL and I started whirring. So we'll see. It's fine now. Okay. <sighs> now that I've learned more law, I look back on my early days and laugh at how new I was when I was banning the champions we wanted during championships. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what? Like, stop! Stop, man! Stop! But the sign of a good game is you'll look back on the way you play today in a couple months be like, oh my god, I was so bad. I didn't even consider zoning and positioning and yeah, I w yeah. It's a good game or a deep game if every single week you look back and you think the week before you were so shitty but now you're good. And if that keeps up and every week you can make that sort of progression then you you've found a game, man. You found a game. Starting the game. I'm ready. I'm ready. I still look at Japan's first cuddle cafe. When you guys are here for the Calgary Expo, will you be doing a small fan meetup? Maybe. We should do a meetup. We hadn't thought about it, but I think we should. We're also going to do some live gaming with Joel, right? We're, you know, yeah. You know what we should do? Let's fucking do it. Because we've talked about it two times. We never did it. No gaming. Mm. So there's guys in Calgary that they run oh, sure. on that. matches up. <clears throat> They run a... Thanks, I think, yeah. I'm gonna play Quinn, actually, if that's cool. Justice yeah. takes wing. I'll play Quinn in the bottom lane. Um, you're gonna sell it? Sweet. Who's Thresh, though? Was he Jungle oh, Thresh? Thresh, oh, th yeah, Thresh is a good Oh, that's Hecker, never mind. Yeah. I'm stupid. Sorry, yeah, um, Thresh. Yeah, so anyway, so uh, we know some people in Calgary where the Calgary Expo is gonna be. They run a LAN cafe, mm -hmm. uh, Node Gaming, and we see them every year at the show. And every year they're kind of like, oh, come by, play some games, and... But it never really happens. But this time, let's, let's do, just let's do, do it. Let's no lock gaming. In. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll do an event. Now, We're doing it. That's it. We're going to do an event at Node Gaming in Calgary yes. around the uh, yeah. Calgary Comic Expo. Event at Node Gaming, um, where you can you can come in and, and play with us, and we'll hang out there the whole night. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Node Gaming, it is. Someone let Node Gaming know, <laughs> and uh, it'll be good times if you live in Calgary. Thanks, Takiu, for the suggestion. Look at how quickly we have results. So this uh, Grimgor Ironhide says he's fucking amazing at the game. Everyone that says that, though, comes in and tanks. Yeah. He's probably not even level 30. No, we're all 30. 
Oh, is he in the game? Grimgar Einhide? Oh, he's playing Evelyn. And uh oh. What? Who uh, left? The other team got scared of us. Uh, so what's Grimgor's role here? What's happening? We're bottom lane, right? Yeah, we're gonna bot. Dude, I can't believe you're in Desona. When you see when Jeff first Wait, played League. You told me this was someone's a musician with a keyboard. And, and I'm like, like yeah, there's this key, there's this, you know, keyboardist and you should totally play her and and all while I'm thinking like just please God play a support so we can play together and it makes sense. Quit. Justice, Justice takes wing. And um and he's like, no. And he starts playing Severe. And he falls in love with Severe, which is another ADC, which is like, we can't possibly ever play together. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Lo and behold, two weeks ago, Jeff's like, man, this Sona character. Totally digging it, man. It's like, yeah. Because it's so easy. <laughs> I love it. Except man. for the subtleties, I guess. I can't. Dude, if you're pro Sona, we are about to just kick so much ass, it's disgusting. Because I only need a bad Sona to kick a lot of ass, man. Let's go, Grimgor. You're going to take W first, right? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna totally zone, right? You're gonna just be aggressive, you're gonna get in their bush and fucking right. poke their faces the whole fucking Yeah, down, W man. then priority on Q. Mm, yes, I love hearing that, man. But you're gonna pick one point E, right? By level three maybe? So you can escape. Mm. No, you're not into escape. It's anything? really not it's really not <laughs> much. Not, not much of a boost. Like it's like it's one point five percent or something at level one. I can't remember, but it's it's really not much. It yeah. And I, I was watching rather pro games when um, going on, and the Sona it was like last priority. Like all, I, all the literature people write about it is like your escape is kind of what they Grimgor says get E at four at most. Really? But I don't know what most means, latest or earliest. He's saying like get four. Like level four? Or your fourth upgrade? Well, like, yeah, like is he saying don't possibly wait till past level four to get E? Ambiguity. Ambiguity, Grimgor Ironhide. You might be good at League, but you lose the English language. Level 4 at the earliest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, switch to LOL. I'll do that, guys. Don't worry. Mm. Don't worry. I'm, I wish this would fit in my hand. That'd be handy. There you go. Um, man, I swear to God, I'm just going to start singing. Every second, I'm just... just Gaga threat looms, man. You already have a queen skin. Of course I have the queen skin, man. I don't play non-skins, man. I don't play characters unless I have a skin. Really? So I'm like, fuck, I really want to pick... This happened, actually, so I'm like, I really want to learn to play Lux. Yeah. But I don't have a skin. You know what I did? I waited, and then Spell Thief Lux went on sale, like my favorite skin, and yeah. bought it. Boom! I've been playing Lux like crazy. Really? Yeah, love it, man. So what, what's our lineup here that we're up against? There's another arcade sauna. Uh, oh my god, two arcade sonas. Well, we're dead. Ezreal, good. You're gonna so it's it's Sona and Ez at the bottom line. Is that who we're up against? Sona Ez, yeah. And you and you can you can raise. Jace that top, Zareth mid, and Lee Sin's are jungle. So, Evelyn, I assume Grungor is midding. Hold on. Yep. And we've got a Garen versus Jace top. We don't have an easy game at all. Really? Yeah, I think Jace kind of rocks Garen. But I got faith in you, Range Fear. Come on, Range Fear. Come on, like Range Fear, man. Fucking your top, dude. All right, and I love Hecarim in the jungle, man. Mm -hmm. but, but Lee Sin, Lee Sin is pretty good, man. Oh man, Matthew well as Hecarim comes in and just cleans up every now and then. I hope so. I hope so. I like the fact he's got a Ghost. At least he's not a complete new. Yeah, but he is the second last. But I am Quinn. Loader, so. People think she's kind of crappy. Yeah, well. But we're, we're gonna so see what happens is. to Ezreal, Mister Fuckface, in the bottom lane in a second here. You hate Ez, huh, dude? I don't hate Ez. I hate the idea that everyone thinks he's so fucking good, man. Are they, are they seeing this screen now? Or no, they're not. Because watch this. Ba, ba, ba. Eight. Oh, oh, shit, son. Is that the game? Uh, oh. I live behind enemy lights. Oh, by the way, I'm a total noob at uh, wards. You're a total noob at the what, Noah? Wards. What? No, please buy wards. I'll buy them, but uh, I'm gonna You're not some, gonna use some them? hints on how to where to put them. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I'm just gonna hop out to the stream here, make sure everyone's okay. Does that look good, guys? Ah, looks pretty good. <clears throat> Sweet. Yeah, the sidestone after Philo and Boots. 
How many boots? Someone on Twitter just asked me if I'm excited for Age of Empires 2 HD. Seconds until minions spawn. Clearly not watching the stream where I'm buying it day one, motherfucker. All the boots. Nice. All right. I'm going to buy all the boots. <coughs> Actually, it's funny. That announcement came out uh, while I was in uh, working at IEM. And Panky, the, um, one of the other analysts, uh, Chris Panky, Chris, he is like a huge... AOE 2 fan and his jaw hit the floor like sure, he was I, I've seen people like stand up here minions oh, yeah. to, like, so we're actually being new so we should stand in the tri-bush just in case I we just want to protect the from invading so really like our, our jungle is going for blue we're not too worried should I ward Man, the tri-bush? it's too hard to talk with only should I ward the tri-bush? no not yet but you should in a little bit Later. Like a minute from now? Um, we'll see how the lane goes. We're in this together. You might want. Do you have only one ward? I have two. Oh, you're in Stay home. This light's kind of tall. Okay. Gotta get used to the whole Valor. Uh, there's two of them there. Yeah, that's fine. Screw those guys, man. I'm just gonna hang out and get my CS, man. They're gonna sit in there and just think they're really cool, and I'm gonna sit up here and miss my CS. Alright, he's got Zap. He's more than this bitch. See, right. ward that bush, man. Like, th their bush right here? Their bush, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then... Then I'll just be like, Oh, so nice. Stay on the target. Did you hit him with that? No, I didn't. I just scared him. Sometimes scaring guys is really only true. Oh, yeah, this is great, though. Oh, Ez, do you like half your health gone, buddy? I was gonna learn the hard way. Shit, man. Right, it's wrong. This, this Quinn character is pretty good. Awesome, man. Cool. Zone him out. Losing all. Look, look, see the tower's taking all CS. This is all we want to do, man. With this push. I'm just gonna hang up here. All we have to watch out for is Lee Sin, and we're totally we fine. Right? Totally. First, blood. Buy me some time. Okay. As is dead. You are slain an enemy. Thanks, dude. That was awesome. I have to burn my flash for it, but fuck it. Oh, I'm rather, I might not have had to. Some guy in the chat's probably playing it right now, but I just wanted to make sure that Ez can die like the bitch he is. Man. I can go get my Philo stone. Yeah, I don't need you right now. Yeah, if you want to leave right now, man, and make sure you get the maximum goal, I just heal me up before you go. Oh, never mind. That's alright. Oh, fuck off. That's what I get for burning my flash necessarily. Wasn't it good that the carry got the uh... 
Who picked up the kill? I wasn't even actually watching. Like I, if it was kind of the time. Scary. No, he was dead. If anything, it was the jungler. I didn't even pay attention. Lee Sing got it there. Fuck it. The carry wasn't even there. Didn't get assist. Still, whatever. And that's the pain of playing Quinn. It's like any other character. Just add out graves. I just like, oh, let me just escape out of there. And Quinn's like, fuck. No escape. And, and now T Trist is training me to be a lazy fucking AD who doesn't escape. I'm more scared than I am. Oh, we got our hacker in here. Well. The good thing about playing oh. with my FML, he doesn't creep taxi, man. Thanks, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and Alice! Oh, see, Jace took out our top laner, didn't he? I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yes, we did. Look now. No! Hi, my Z. Warp this bush over here if we're gonna be aggressive right here. Do you have a warp? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay alert. No. Ah. Okay, sorry. I just cry no out loud when I'm about to miss a single CS because I have my ult. nuts. Oh good, so do I. Not that my ult's any good. <laughs> Part of me is like wishing I just was grazed right now. That's why I want to prove to the world that I'm just clean, man. There's always a trust. It's not all Sona. You pay for that. Right? I'm gonna go off this shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just the plan, Val. The Mafia is counting on us. Sometimes I swear that bird is just showing off. An enemy has been slain. Ez can die in one burst. If you see my bird targeting, you fucking crescendo that motherfucker. Do it right now. Oh, yeah. Done, bitch! <laughs> Wicked! Oh, yeah. oh man. I'm gonna hug you right now, man. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Really pro. Just watch for Lee Sin. No fun. Yeah, man. People. Seriously underestimate how crazy Quinn is a dueling. Like, Jesus, her burst is so disgusting, man. Oh, 
Um, just hang out as long as you can. Keep getting experience. Like staying in lane is really the ultimate part of the war. We got El Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. We got El Matthew's here. Wow. Oh, someone here. Someone here. Dude. Dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. You get the next. Got that kill? <laughs> it's uh, just auto attack people. It slows them down. So actually, all of a sudden your auto attack is quite bad. Kind of a shame I didn't pick the kill up, but man, it's so hilarious. It's so predictable, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's the best jungle. Dude, I am so happy you're <laughs> playing support. <laughs> oh. Ninety-eight to fifty-four. That's I haven't got to see it. Yeah. And I've got a couple kills. And I should really go buy some items that I'm actually. Oh, three, three, three. Yeah. God! Boom! Ezreal! G fucking G! Yeah, just 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 live, just live. Go, go jungler. Take him out. That's so stupid. Okay, that was a really stupid buy. Alright. Why did I do that? Ah, uh, I just bought the wrong thing. Whatever man, whatever. It's on, we're laughing, we're good. You got 25 for the ward. I guess I'm sustained king today. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna spend some of this two grand. How the fuck are you out leveling me? How the fuck are you out leveling me? Chat? <laughs> Chat, how am I <laughs> level 8? Val's stealing all the glory again. Is that you up there? Should I be worried? Where are you, man? I'm... Your son? So stupid on so many levels. I just want to apologize to my team right now. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't even know what I was thinking. Wow. So stupid. Anyway. Find me a path. Shut down. The first step to getting better is knowing that you suck.
try taking the kills with it. The Marcy is counting on us. Power now? Take this tower. Tower's down. Let me just life suck that back in two seconds. That's right. Do you want uh, to take the dragon? Do you think we can take the dragon? Time. No, no, someone's following us. Oh my god, who took the dragon? Someone's not following us. My team? <laughs> I think it was uh, our pro jungler. Who? Pro jungler, yeah. Oh, so, what? I don't think Hector can solo that shit. <laughs> yeah, we got it, so we can do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, clearly, my map awareness is. <laughs> Died for that. Good thing about streaming. I'm gonna go back and watch what was happening. I now I'm granted I'm really new to Quinn, but is there a delay between hitting the elf and popping out of the elf? I didn't not be able to go back to human form for like 10 seconds. Fuck. I just popped it because I wanted to burst. Mm. Dang. So Bob needs some attention. Heroes. We got, uh, I can on. farm it. I'll take yeah. that one. Are you going bot or are you going one? CS is fucking trash. Yeah, I'm done here. No, this doesn't hurt us. Never mind. Oh shit. Can I have the goals, bro? Oh, I love you, Hecarim. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Sometimes I swear that bird showing off. Need my money. I'm going, I'm going ultra sustain build. I'm going Bork into BT, man. How's that for... I'm, I'm redefining the meta on screen. Dude. No one knows how to play Quinn, man? Fuck. I'm going to show everybody. Quinn's played ultra sustain, man. Bork into BT, new meta. We Demacians are no reason for it. Fucking Jack Zera. Demacia is counting on us. An enemy has been slain. Where is that? An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah, you should totally flash, dude. You're totally gonna get me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, fine. Fine, be like that. Fucking Lee Sin so broken. I'm just Your kidding, he's not. Has That's what you say when you wanna be awesome.
stay alert. Wow. I've died five times. I just realized I'm like feeding. I didn't even know. Well, let's rock and roll, man. I was sitting here, I'm like, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing all right. I feel okay. I'm not too used to the character, but. She's like, no, you're feeding, and everybody hates you. Everybody hates me. The whole team's like, fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Look at our CS. <laughs> Level 11? You know what's sad is that I feel my CS is really sad for this time in the game, and it's the highest in the server. I'm not sure it's good about that. Val's stealing all the glory again. They're all in my A. I have a speed booster too. Speed. Oh, okay. We're we're okay. We have so much support coming. Watch out, dude. Yeah, it's zero to all. So we can get this tower. So the pop, dude. Popper. Pop. Oh, she popped. Yeah, Jace. Jace, I want to be an ABC, but I'm not. Characters that feel good as fun right now. I don't know if you know why that is. Because I think he's such a fairy. Sometimes I swear that girl is just showing off. Giant dragon? Yeah, yeah, actually, that's, that's way smarter. Matthew's smart. I'm stupid. I'm like, nah. Keep attacking. I am going for the weirdest field ever. So, in case there's some league pros in the chat, like, what the, what the fuck is he doing, man? Bork into BT into fucking Cleaver? In yeah, game. man. I make them, man. People follow. Demacia is counting on us. Oh yeah, we got him. Oh, we're so fucking dead now. Can't, 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 can't. Quinn can smell blood. Oh. Double kill. Eight. 
Ever, man. And I. <laughs> All right. What does RM mean? I don't even know. A rematch? Oh, uh, maybe. That seems pretty reasonable. You know what that means? Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> We got time for one more game, and then uh, yeah, we totally do. Let's do one more. We got one more game. I got a few though. Yep, we got time for one more game, and then we're getting kicked out. Um, <clears throat> Blade of the Rune King, classic. A, not really used to Quinn. B, not really used to Blade of the Rune King. So classic. I'm probably like everybody else. I buy the thing. Did I ever use the active once? Nah. Who needs the active? <laughs> and I just bought it because it's the flavor of the month. <clears throat> Okay. Let's see here. Grimgore Ironhide raped it. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the awesome support. <clears throat> Everybody did pretty good. I died so much, it's a bit embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> actually we've just learned from the host of where we host these that we can't have another game, guys, I'm really sorry. But we've only got 20 minutes left on stream, and they know League well enough to know that 20 minutes isn't enough, so we're going to talk out the end, go home, and then I'm going to play League from home. Uh, Jeff has a better record than me in, in Possum Brew. That's he's, how is so not that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh well, 175 CS bro. That's all that matters. CS is everything, man. <laughs> Are you guys interested in the AOE 2 HD release? Well, I'm interested in a free copy if you work for them. That's for sure. All right. So, what a game. What's the, this is a good game. What's the uh, post game? Post game is 2 0 12 is greater than 5 of 7, which I agree with. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm actually shocked, and I don't know. Uh, how I didn't remember dying five times, but I accounted for half of our deaths was me alone. Of the team. But at the same time, up until most but, of the games, But some of those deaths were trades. They were, they were almost entirely They were trades. straight up trades. Yeah, they're straight up trades. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty rare that I just died without killing somebody. In fact, I'm not sure that happened. But it must have because 557. Five, well, look, yeah. look at this Sona, the, the opposing team Sona. Look at their gold. Oh, garbage Sona. 7.6 versus 4.6? Come on, I had the whole 2K. Well, Dude, I guess... you got good item build and everything. Well, I mean, you're getting pretty offensive now. But I, o I only buy offensive. <laughs> when did you get your Shirelias? When did you upgrade your Philostone? Uh, my Shirelias was um, right after my Philostone. So I, I, I followed the recommendation of whoever messaged on the team to get to get uh, boots and then built into a Philostone and a... Okay. But uh, but yeah, I got this just for the the, the team speed boost. Maybe be chasing people down. You and me. Yeah, 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 for sure. The, the, the trade off with getting trailers is you lose your passive gold game. Yes. So, yeah. um, not that I'm in any by means of pro support, but I'm a greedy motherfucker. Oh. I play ADC and it's all about money. And so whenever I play support, I get like a Philo Stone and a Cage's Lucky pick. You know that other oh. one? It's four gold. And I hang Cage's on. Cage's Lucky. Yeah, oh. yeah, and I hang on to that shit until like. Until my item's full and I have no choice but to 
to, to, to combine into something. And then I get my Shirelias and get whatever. But at that point, I've got like a thousand gold off each item and I feel like I've made a lot they of money. For them. I gotta get that. But it's, it's probably not the, a very efficient. But yeah, thing. like, um, yeah, I usually hang on to it. It's like, it's like, it's pain for me if I, if I have 530 gold, which is what I need to get the field stone. And, and, and it's like, oh, I have five, 540, 550. Yeah. I'm like, I could be making money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, be. Like, dude, dude, that's <laughs> I don't exactly, care where I yeah, am. I'm exactly. Like, it's like, I know we're only winning the game. Can I be and get my fillet stone? Yeah. And kind of, I'm like, yeah, dude, like, you, you take an experience hit, but the money. But at the same time, if you get a kill, yeah. the whole team gets money. Yeah, yeah. Assist well, anyone, or, anyone assist gets money. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, anyone assists. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, it's coming. We were, we, we we're not playing another one, unfortunately. We're too near our deadline. We have a six o'clock, very hard cutoff today. So we're only 18 minutes away from that. So we're going to trail it off. We'll answer some more questions for 18 minutes. Um, and then we're going to go home and play League of Legends. <laughs> it's Friday night. And my internet connection at home is too shit, though. It is. You know what's better than mine? I, I put in your, your address. You have better internet than I do, man. Well, not the current one that I'm paying for. I, had, I actually played my first laggy game. I was at my... I was at the Toronto place, and I couldn't oh, believe it. It was, like, it was like everyone pauses, and I'm like, "What the fuck's happening?" I experienced lag and lol for the first time. It's like it's like unplayable. No, unplayable. like tonight? No, 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 not 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 not. It was like weeks ago. Oh, it was okay. like it was like okay, well, but it, it's, it works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. So hey, it's 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 hit and miss basically. So we'll see. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good players that want to play with us. So. There is, yeah. Not a surprise. Someone just says he's gonna buy me Lux. I said, they're like, what do you need? I'm like, I need Lux, man. I wanna play Lux. Who's online? Whoa, look at this. Treasure chest and fireworks. Oh my god. What? Someone buy something? Someone just bought me Lux, man. I was just saying. I need to add people, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I should give... I'm gonna give uh, Grimgor teamwork. There you go. Grimgore, you got some teamwork. Uh, Matthew, I'll give you some teamwork, buddy. Range, fear, how'd you do? 114. Friendly. You were very friendly. And Jeff, you get nothing, man. So, someone gifted me something, and the only option to accept is awesome exclamation mark. <laughs> There's no other option. There's no, okay, it's awesome. Someone just buys you some free shit. That's it's, pretty it's awesome. It's always awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is really funny. Oh man! Oh, uh, do you experience like when I go to my? Yeah, see, people just appear on my friends list. Do people just appear on your friends list? No, they ask me to be friends. Yeah, so they don't. So this guy, no idea who it is, and I was thinking maybe some of my friends were changing their names or something, but it's not the case. There's either a bug or a hack or something, because I, 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 I had 14 total friends. Now I've got 15, and this guy came from nowhere. And I come, came home from vacation, I'm like, oh, 16 friends? Two names I don't recognize? People, like, somehow find their way onto my friends list. How? How do you add no someone idea, without man. permission? I, I don't know, man. I don't know, they've hacked League of Legends. And, uh... It was a good game. I feel good. It does. I'm so glad we won. <sighs> well, we didn't win. We just owned. We did own. I felt like I owned. My score doesn't represent the ownage. No, no, no. We. we but we I felt like for playing a brand new character, I was. It was well, you're like, you're like, hey, why is the dragon dead? It's like, oh, we got it without you. Like, yeah. Like, I'm like, like, I didn't really do much. It was like the the <laughs> mid, the, the mid jungler are so good. They got the dragon. Just. You know. <laughs> Must be nice having that bonus gold in your pocket, not even knowing it. <laughs> you accept people as friends during streams, but you tend to forget about them and then delete them later. I know this because you deleted me. No, man! I've never in my life clicked accept friend. Ever. Everyone on my list is like someone I've added. And I, I just clicked the minus, them, just the minus to minimize. I, don't, I never accept or decline, I just minus, minus, minus. And then people pop on my list. It's, yeah. it's a bug, man. It's totally a bug. Um, so, so I, I accept anybody. I accept everybody that asks me. I, I'm there on my friends list. And I play with them and I see if they're good or if they're bad or if they're pleasant or whatever. And, um, you know, you know some, some people I'll play with again, some people I won't. But I like the <laughs> fact that you can add little notes 
Yes. To the people. So, so for example, that's new. I think actually. Right? So for example, I don't can, know Jared, things. can you read this note for me? And don't don't read the name. There's the note. What does it say? Where's the note? <laughs> what does it say? Play with this dude. <laughs> okay. And what does this guy's note say? Dude sucks at this game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so some of you, if I, you know, my friends, just, I write little notes. It's very handy. It's like, so you message me. You're like, hey, you want to play with me? I'll look at your note. I'll be like, oh, dude sucks at the game. Uh, <laughs> I love how it's, oh, it's always dude. dude. It's like, play with this dude. Dude sucks at this game. <laughs> it's like, it's true, man. It's true. Uh, that's that's how I organize my friend list of uh, people I don't really know in real life. But, what do you guys think about the rune stuff in League of Legends? This has been a lot of heat recently in whatever. You know what's funny? We were talking about this um, before the stream today. I was talking with Mark, whose house we he generally uh, he generously lends us for this, and I find. It, it's it's um I find it often frustrating as a player, especially right now, because this account that I'm using, it's like my new account, you know, it's my public account, and and uh, so I just started a few months ago, so it has no history, it has no IP, and I forgot. Like as I I, I remembered leveling, I'm like oh yeah, fucking leveling will suck, but I'll level it, and then I leveled it, and I finally hit 30. I'm like okay, finally 30, and then I remembered that shit. Like I have none of my runes or rune pages or anything. And then, now that I've been playing, it's like I've been 30 for like a month on this account at least, and I still, like I'm starved. I'm constantly IP starved. I have no IP. So, there's obviously an element up front when you come in and like, this sucks because I don't have the ruins I want to have in this game and I'm disadvantaged because of that. And that does a little bit suck. But at the same time, uh, earning IP, and every time I play I get a little bit of IP, I feel like I'm rewarded a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm that one step closer to having the ruins I need, and I'm that one step closer to having this and that. And from a game like design standpoint, having those little RPG elements of like constant progression, constant reward, constantly getting better, constantly getting something, actually make me come back and play more, and make me feel that if I did play, or a better way to say it is, they eliminate the possibility that I play a few games and feel like I completely wasted my time. And what happens in some other games that have no sort of reward system like that is that if you're like, hey, I've got two hours to play games, and you know, I'm a, I have a busy life, and when I have two hours, I'm like, I've been waiting for this all day, and I'm gonna jump in. And if you go play two hours and you lose three times more, you're like, lose, 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 and then you're done. Now, if you got nothing out of that, no IP, no reward, you really feel like, like, I want my two hours back, I just wasted my life. I can't believe I just spent th two hours of my precious free time losing and got nothing out of it. Whereas with IP, you at least go, well, I lost three games, but hey, I made a couple hundred IP and I can buy a new rune. And this comes back to runes only because uh, you have to buy them with in-game money. The only way to get runes is to play the game. So every time, basically, TLDR, I think it kind of sucks in the immediate, but in the long term, when I think about it bringing me back as a player and a, and a consumer of League of Legends content, uh, that it's kind of in a weird way a good thing because at least it gives me that opportunity to not feel like I've wasted my time ever. Like I've always made some little progress. Whereas some other games that don't have these kind of systems, if I just lose or lose, I go to bed and I'm just like, wow, like I, I couldn't possibly have wasted my time more than I did just then. So, I don't know. So there's a bit of devil's advocate saying, hey, you know, it's, I know it sucks being disadvantaged, not being able to be the exact character you want to be like in Dota 2 at any moment, but at the same time, it brings people back. And I think it's been proven in the marketplace to work because look at how big the league is. And in other games that don't have these systems, players go on three, four game losing streaks and they just never play ever again, and, and that's it. Yeah, it's one of those things, it's a basic mechanic of rewarding you, and regardless of the quality of your game, or what, how good the game is, or whatever, having that will really make it much more marketable, and, and viral growth, and whatever else. And so yeah, it's, it's good that, uh, I hope all, all games do those kind of things, and have that kind of incentive to play, um, and then we'll see the best games being the most popular. My biggest complaint is I can't buy IP with real money. Hey, you gotta have some. You gotta have something <laughs> no, that differentiates you, you really money from game time. Yeah, I think 
I think the biggest reason League of Legends is the biggest MOBA in the world isn't even the game design, it's, the, it's like the business strategy and the monetization strategy that they employed, and I think they were one step above, and the runes are a tiny, tiny piece of that, but... Yeah, man. Uh, did that make sense? I feel punished, but enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn the mic towards their private conversation, just to hold on. <laughs> I just heard, well, I'm not gonna sit on you. Oh shit, son. What the fuck's going on in this room? <laughs> All right, we should uh, call the stream off. We, we should. Up. We have to pack up. We got to be out of here in eight minutes. Um, careful when fighting monsters, lest you become one. That's actually very good advice. Jeremy, why can't you be like a compulsive player and actually believe you're number one in Korea games? I wish I could, dude. Ah. Be a good fantasy. Can you give a shout out to a theme? Yeah, for sure, man. A theme. Oh man, we gotta play with him again. Now, now yeah, that we have our Sona support dude, system, dude, we do. Yeah. A theme like. mid ADC support, oh, dude. Oh, next time we have a way next better stream. system now. Yeah, next stream we we have to make it happen. Yeah, let's let's get in touch. With him. Let a theme know that next piano stream we're coming back, and we're better than ever. And he knows I out CS him last game. I may die a few times, but my CS is on the balls, man. It's on the balls. Let him know, man. We both love well, them kids too. Uh, I'm doing more. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm doing more charity. It's it's quite a while from now, like a few weeks. But a Saturday, it's a Saturday in April. April sixth. Don't quote me. April sixth. Fuck it. Saturday, April sixth. Um, for them kids, kids help phone in Canada, which is like a a 24-hour day phone line website that you can call or contact if you're experiencing the kind of trouble that we probably all have some understanding of when you're a teenager mm -hmm. and you really just feel like the world sucks so bad and you can't believe this is actually life and you're not emo and yeah you're not emo it's you're real. just like you're just a rational person going wow the world's really this bad and you have trouble coping with that but by our age you're just used to it you're like yeah the world's that bad and you get used to it but sometimes at that point you need a bit of help um <laughs> kids help phone philosophy <laughs> kids help phone like, when you're not ready to realize the world sucks so bad <laughs> <laughs> Call the kids' cell phone. <laughs> I, I probably need an adult cell phone right now. Because <laughs> really. Um, yeah, man. All right, the kids. What league am I in? We'll find out soon enough. Because I'm going to stream my ranked matches. So you can watch me uh, get carried down into hell by my shitty teammates. <laughs> um, oh, man. we got to make that a theme thing happen for sure. M Mark and or Z, do you want to say hi or bye on the stream? The camera puts 10 pounds on her. She's not happy with it at all. Um. <laughs> all right, guys. We're signing right, off. going to say bye-bye. Good times. Great team uh, also. And, uh, yeah, next time we'll, we'll, we will announce on Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, follow us on that shit. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs>